Why, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the bar. Happy Valentine's Day. Or rather, happy day after Valentine's Day. You may notice that the bar is in a bit of a, uh, cool state right now. Almost a sexy state. Feels very sexy behind this bar right now. Not exactly sure why. I would like to give a quick disclaimer. The board next to me says X-rated cocktails. I, I mean it when I write it, and I mean it when I say it. Things are going to get raunchy. Things are going to get a little uncouth. That order line, probably a little inappropriate. And uh, that's kind of according to the plans. If we don't push the boundary of Twitch's, YouTube's, TOS this evening, I don't even know why we're here. Um, I say that. I don't actually mean that. V-Day, the aftermath, indeed. And welcome, everybody, to the bar with mood lighting. Alexa, turn on the bar lights. And so we're back. And we begin. Tonight's cocktails are X-rated. What does that exactly mean? When I say X-rated cocktails, what the heck does that mean? What that actually means is that if you are watching the experience right now or listening, that you might be inclined to think that there might be some uh, sensitive content coming up. There is. I'm not the kind of person who likes to inadvertently uh, curse on stream or anything like that. I like to consider myself quite a bit of a gentleman. I say that as I wear more or less just a robe back here. I am wearing pants. You just gonna have to take my my word for it um but tonight is not a part that tonight breaks the rules it's different than that i don't plan on holding back any sort of curses and stuff um because i don't know it says x right there i think i even labeled this as 21 up i don't know i literally never do that i mean 21 and up it's it's cocktails it's alcohol if you're not over 21 don't drink this stuff if you're not over the age of 18 leave and with that disclaimer out of the way, let's begin. Hubba hubba, let's go for it. Tonight, everybody, I've got quite a couple of cocktails lined up. What exactly those are? Well, we're just gonna have to find out. I was given this beautiful, beautiful book the other day called 10,000 Drinks, and I did not really think much of it. Books like this, when I see large, large cocktail books like this, make me think it's just gonna be the same recipe over and over and over and over and over again with different liquors substituted out of it. It's just people trying to get like a really, really quick publish. However, I found a section of this book that I've literally never seen in any other cocktail book before. It actually has an entire section with like 50 something cocktails that's just called X-rated drinks. And I was planning on doing Valentine's Day cocktails. I was planning on doing things that are like kind of like probably chocolatey or creamy or things to give to your love and stuff. But as soon as I saw this chapter in this book, I was like, oh, oh no, I have a much, much worse idea. And um, that's what we're acting upon this evening. General tip, the funnest cocktails to drink are known to be the funnest. The funnest cocktails to drink are known to be the funnest to say. Funnest, fun, what kind of fun are you having? Y'all fucking out there? Are you engaging in sexual intercourse? You know, this stuff? I told you it's uncouth. There is no filter this evening. In any case, let's start off with something wonderful, something sexy. What is something sexy? There are a lot of, uh, there's like, I think 35 different cocktails that I was able to more or less prepare this evening. I'm not gonna be able to cover them all. I don't intend on this being the only X-rated theme cocktail stream that we have. When the next one comes, pun intended, nobody really knows, I'm not so sure. I want to start, start things off right. I want to start things off wonderfully. Look at that beautiful. Oh my God, did we do it? Ooh. Also, for those of you in chat right now who are in on the Twitch channel, uh, I'm currently raising party points, party hat points, but probably had party hats to read Smut on stream. And it would just be absolutely perfect if we hit the 30,000 party hat goal. We're about 7,000 left this evening. I really want to read Smut on stream and it's going to happen. Okay, so the first cocktail, the first libation that we are going to put into our gullets today, downright let's slither down our throat today, is something called the blowjob. It is a well-known shot out there, and it is created with half an ounce, or about 15 milliliters of butterscotch schnapps, half an ounce, or about 15 milliliters of Irish cream, and some whipped cream up on top. I'm sure there are many ways to blow, many ways to job, but the way that we blow job is with butterscotch, cream, and a little bit of whipped cream up on top. And I'm gonna put that together, and of course I'm going to drink it. <laughs> Duh. I'm so looking forward to it. I've never actually had a blowjob. The drink, I mean. Um, unfortunately, I will say, uh, uh, very, very unfortunately, I couldn't find any butterscotch schnapps at my local liquor store. I walked and I went straight up to the front and I was like, butterscotch schnapps? And they're like, no. I was like, butterscotch whiskey? No. Butterscotch liqueur? No. I was very disappointed. I find that 
Sheepdog peanut butter whiskey. Um, this guy, Sheepdog peanut butter whiskey has a rather butterscotchy taste to me. So I would recommend it here. Also, I will also note, I did a little bit of modification. I hope that the, this isn't artifacting anymore. This should not be artifacting anymore. So hopefully I fixed that. The cocktail camera works well. It's called Butter Shots. It's called Butter Shots. I couldn't find Butter Shots. You're talking about the De De Kuiper brand. I couldn't find it in my local liquor store. It's unfortunate. So I'm gonna use Sheepdog peanut butter whiskey because I think it's got a bit of a butterscotch taste to it. Irish cream. I don't have Irish cream per se. I have a lot of cream liqueurs and I have one that's also a tiny little nip because, because on x rated cocktails, we're all about nips. Nips, get it? Like nipples. That's the joke. That's the thing that's happening here. It's inappropriate. It's sexy. It's wild. I've got this Somras chai cream liqueur. It's cream. It's liqueur. This is close enough to butterscotch. This is what I don't have to do. Looks like someone's been smooching you. I feel used. Um. I got kisses. I got kisses on my face. Um, yeah, so uh, the, the way that we had to prepare for the stream was I literally can't kiss myself in the places that have been kissed. Actually, I can actually. There. Well, I guess I could have done this myself. I could have just, metaphorically speaking, master kissed, master kissed myself. I could have just done that, but that's not that's not what it's all about. Can you slide dog? What's on your neck? A hickey, mom. It's a hickey. I fucked my girlfriend. My wife. Futurely. It's a thing that happens. Get used to it. I also need whipped cream. Now, I would like to raise the stakes. I want to raise the stakes. We have a fresh can of whipped cream here. And there is a challenge happening. If we can reach the goal of that challenge, I will put whipped cream on myself somewhere and lick it off my body. I don't think that's inappropriate. I feel like there have been hot tub streams and pool streams and beach streams where people put whipped cream on their bodies and eat it off of each other. There must be. It's not sexual. We're having fun with it. I don't know. Um, if Twitch takes me down for TOS, then this is just a learning experience, I guess. Um, and then I'll be moving to YouTube. If, we, if it doesn't work there. Kim, you slide off. No, looks like somebody slapped you. Uh, yeah, slapped my ass cheeks. Hey, yo, got him. <laughs> Let's get Cameron a blowjob, shall we? I'm gonna go get a couple of shot glasses. Um, I don't know exactly how many shots there will be this evening. Hi, it's the front of the bar. My shot glasses are all in the, I got a, uh, a little drawer up in the front. What kind of shot glass should we use? We have cool ones? Ooh, we have a ring. Now, you can't see inside the rainbow shot glass, but I'm gonna bring it out anyway, because that shit's sexy as fuck. Ooh, camera's done it up. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I compl I was meaning I was meaning to make another Discord command where you every time somebody procs it, it will increase the number of how many times I've cursed. It's unfortunate I forgot to do that. You got your cheeks clapped? Hell yeah, man. Dude, I don't remember what year it was, 2017 or whatever, but I could not stop saying getting cheeks clapped. Like we were playing I was playing like Mario Kart with my friends back at home, and we were like, Yeah, 2017 is the year of ass clapping. Like last year was something else. But anyway, that's a really out of context inside joke that really doesn't I guess doesn't really have a proper place in the conversation right now. I mean, I guess it kind of does. I mean, <laughs> X-rated cocktails. Anyways, um, this is my cool little, oh, let me get my cocktail cam over here. Let me, let me get this thing. That's my face. Hello, face. Wow, it looks really red in this light. Anyway, I got a cool little, got a cool little rainbow, like kind of tie-dye shot, uh, shot glass. It's by Silly, Silly Pint. I don't know if we can see that on the bottom. Silly Pint. I'm not going to use that though, because it's not, it's not, a, it's not clear. I'm going to use this shot, guys, because it's clear, and it allows us to see what's going on on the inside. That makes sense. Of course, of course. Um, also, I was able to throw it on the floor because it's not made of glass. It's actually just made of like some sort of like silicon, which I guess is even more appropriate for this stream. Um, so essentially, all we're going to do is uh, we're going to put equal parts, about a half an ounce of our cream liqueur and our butterscotch or butterscotch adjacent liqueur into a shot glass, and then top it with some whipped cream. And we're going to see how that goes. I think... I think. Rock Legends Clues! I was on the cruise! That's where we got that shot glass. Alright, let me let me set up this angle on nice like. Get a get a cool little close angle there. Um again, the uh, the cocktail the ooh, this thing's not yes it is. The uh, cocktail close-up cam is um it's awesome. <laughs> Maybe I'm the cocktail close-up cam. I am the closest cam on stream. There we go. I'm a cam girl! Oh my god, it just made sense. Cam girls, people who like spread their pussies on the internet and the cameras, or I guess spread their like. You could be a cam boy, I guess, and like spread your anus, I suppose. That's a thing. Um, today I'm a cam boy, I suppose. But technically, I'm always a cam boy. We're gonna take our butterscotch adjacent schnapps, if I can get the damn thing open. The get the fucking thing open. Remember, I'm cursing this time. It's x rated in, in uh, honor of Valentine's Day. And we're gonna fill it like, I don't know, what's about a half an ounce or so? 
I'm going to guesstimate it. I don't think there's an exact science to blowjobs here. If anybody's got techniques and are willing to share, DM me. Please don't put it in chat. You, you can DM me. I, or actually, I, I think I'm inviting trouble that way. Um. Anyways, I'm going to add a little bit more there. I'm going to take one of my bar spoons off the side. I don't know if this is going to have a particular layering effect to it, but if it does, that's what it's going to be all about. The butterscotch schnapps that I have on the bottom have a bit of a kind of a yellowish tinge to them. So I'm going to represent, I'm going to take that to represent the, um, I don't know, one bodily fluid. And then we're going to take the cream liqueur next and say that that represents another bodily fluid. It's urine and semen. I can say that because that's the theme of tonight's stream. Actually, that kind of, that kind of layered in the opposite direction. So I'm going to do a little bit better. A little bit better. There we go. What a nice gradient we have there. What a beautiful, what a beautiful gradient. Mmm. That's delicious. I can't wait to put that in my mouth a second time for some sloppy seconds later on. It's gonna be wonderful. Gents, ladies, and those who fall in between or beyond. Anyway, um, so now we got, got this little guy here. Got a cool little, cool little layering effect going on there. I bet, you know, this would probably look better. How, how deep can I get this thing? I can get this angle probably more like this. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a much better angle for things that are layered. That's actually kind of cool. I love the fact that now I have an angle where you could actually look at the layering effect going on in these glasses. That is, all right, anyways, I gotta put whipped cream on that. I don't know if you know this, but this shot is some, sometimes done hands-free. Oh, oh, <laughs> I am very aware of it. Um, I will have to place it in a position where I'm able to do that though. All right, whipped cream. Um, do I have to like activate this? You don't have to shake whipped cream, do you? Serving suggestion, enlarge to show texture. 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 Um, to open, remove pull tab from tamper evident cap. I I definitely did not pull the pull cab. To, <laughs> words. Um, shake gently. Turn can completely upside down. Press nozzle sideways. Shake can gently. Turn can completely upside down. Rinse nozzle thoroughly and replace dispense immediately before serving. Upside down. Gently shake. Just give it a very gentle shake. Hear that sound? Can you guys hear this? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> There's something creamy in there. And, um, do it like this. You wanna come out? Come on, come out, little buddy! Happy pride! Oh, there we go. Ooh, there we go. Carefully. If you rushed with a blowjob- If you rush with a blowjob, Things can get sloppy or teethy. Uh, either way, I don't think it ends well for your partner. In any case, this is my blowjob. Do you like it? Was it to your liking? Should I do it again? Can you do it again? I don't know. Anyway, things happen over here. Um. Hmm. Anyways, that's what a blowjob looks like. I'm glad that we got up close and personal with it. There are claims that this can be done hands-free. Now. I'm a man of attempting to pertain to the book. I'm a very cooking by the book kind of person. And so I think it seems appropriate um, to be able to do this uh, with my hands behind my back. And um, I'm gonna go in for it. You have to take the shot properly. It's true, I do. I have to do the blow job the way the blow job do. And it's with no hands. I mean, you could do it with hands. There's a certain technique to be had there. Um, I'd also like to note as well, I'm speaking a lot of sexual terms here, and my fiance is not this type of person for the most part. She gets very kind of, she's a bit of a prudish nature, so uh, I, I have mentally prepared her. I, I let her know that this was happening this evening so that she could take the proper precautions. Um, however, I was not expecting for my mother to pop and chat, literally, within the first five minutes. So, um, love your son, because he loves himself. Blow job! <laughs> I think I need to get the- I think I need the, uh, the angle for this. <laughs> I can't- I don't know the proper way to do that. How am I supposed to do this? I- I can't not use my teeth. Hey, you know what? I got a better idea. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. You have to use your whole mouth, Cameron? I have to use my whole mouth, Cameron! <laughs> See, there was a problem that I ran into there. There was a problem that I ran into there. Wow, that tastes great. Ooh, man. I didn't know blowjobs tasted so good. 
That's really good. Holy shit. Wow. Hmm. I wonder if that was coming from the... Was that coming from the chai liqueur? Or the butterscotch? Now that's a blowjob. My god. Mmm, that was the chai liqueur. Oh, there's such a cool... I don't know what spice that is. It's almost got like fennel in there. It's something sweet. That's something powerful. And there's like nothing left in that glass, so... Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Hi, Cam. Love the fit. The blowjob was certainly coming. Coming. Come. Anyways, that was good. Man, that was so good. I'd love to do it again. We almost hit the smut stream. Oh, we almost did. We're like 2,000 points away. I would have put whipped cream on my body if we reached that goal. That's not against TOS, probably. I don't really know. Anyway, so we're starting stream off sexually. I just gave a blowjob to myself, to a shot glass, uh, and that was about equal parts butterscotch liqueur, or something similar, and cream liqueur, or something, I Irish cream liqueur, or something similar, topped with, with cream. It was great. It took me two, two tries to get it right. Oh my goodness, I donated all the hats. Creamy cam is a recurring dream that Mega CS has. That was quite an impressive BJ, says Floral Mercy, using the big one emote. Oddly enough, that's me uh, during Halloween one year, and um, the, the red thing that you see is not a penis. Um, it's actually a saber sword, because um, uh, one of my, one of my uh, in-law family members knows how to sword play, you know? That's great. What a creamy top indeed. Okay, so what I want to do is take a moment to go over all the different sexy X-rated cocktail names because I have so many recipes prepared and I don't exactly know which ones that I should do. And so, honestly, I kind of just want the excuse to say really, really uncouth things into my microphone in a sensual manner with the lights down. So that's what I'm going to do next. I have a collection of things. A collection of cocktail names, all from 10,000 Cocktail, 10,000 Drinks by Paul Knorr. Nor, it's got a K, it might be silent, I'm not exactly sure. There are so many cocktails in here, almost 10,000 or so. So I'm gonna jump, I'm gonna jump right into it. ASMR style? Of course it's gonna be ASMR style. Of course it's gonna be. <clears throat> I also have some, I also have some, don't let me forget that there are some community contributions at the end. I, I have realized that there are people out there who are, really want to be a part of the theming of the different cocktail sessions and whatnot, so we had a particular community member who can raise their hand up and admit it if they'd like to, who contributed like almost 18 recipes to this tonight's stream, and made my job, didn't make it any easier because I was going to go search anyway, but I greatly, greatly appreciate people's contributions. All right, Avery, all right, everyone. Alexa, turn on the bar mood lights. And so we shall begin. Tonight, it's your choice. People's choice. People's sexy choice of what cocktail comes next. Starting with the first selection of cocktail lineup, I will read every single dirty cocktail name in 10,000 Drinks by Paul Knorr. Starting with 69. And continuing down from there, I suppose. If any of these drinks strike your fancy, please throw them in chat, or DM me directly, and we'll see what we can do about them. Now begins... 50 or so X-rated drinks. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I'm waiting. Soda and then leave. Okay, okay, Anna's up here, and I can't say anything penis or vagina <laughs> appropriated while it's she's up weird. here. It's weird. She says it's weird. It makes her very uncomfortable. Anyways. So we begin. Exclamation point pick. Oh, it's photo, but I should add the fact that you can put pick or picture. That's a really good idea X-rated drinks. What makes a drink X-rated? According to the Supreme Court, you'll know it when you see it 69 69er Absolute royal fuck Absolute sex Adios motherfucker American clusterfuck Apple screw Ass Ass Oh, I read that twice Ass master 5000 plus Bag of filth, bald pussy, ball breaker, banana ass master, bare naked lady, better than sex, bishop's nipple, bitch ass, blue motherfucker, blue screw, breast caresser, breast milk on acid, British clusterfuck, bunny fucker, hippity hop, butt munch, butt naked, butt crack, buttery nipple, frozen. Chicken fucker, cluster fuck, Colorado motherfucker, comfortable screw, comfortable screw up against a fuzzy wall, comfortable screw up against a wall, cool summer sex, Cuban screw, come fuck me punch, come fuck me punch, you know how that's spelled, 
Come in a bucket. Cyber sex orgasm. Deep sea sex. Dick hard. Dicky wall banger. Dirty screwdriver. Fluffy fucknut. French nipple. French screw. Frog cum. This is not going to be the only frog drink that comes up, and I don't know exactly what the author's deal is here. Frosted breast. Frozen nipples. Fruity fuck. Fuck in the graveyard. Fuck me hard. Fuck me rough. Fuck you! Fuck your buddy. Fuzzy ass. Fuzzy cum fort. Fuzzy fucker. Fuzzy nipple. Fuzzy screw. Fuzzy screw up against the wall. Getting naked. Golden mountain screw. Golden screw. Good as sex. Green pussy. Gulf Coast sex on the beach. Hard fuck. Hawaiian screw. Heavenly sex. Hot pussy. How many smurfs does it take to screw in a light bulb? Two. But I don't know how they got in there. Italian screw. Jamaican screw. Let's get drunk. And screw. Liquid panty remover. Mexican screw. Mind fuck. Mongolian motherfucker. I did mention that these are uncouth cocktail names as well. Mountain fuck. Mountain screw. Mountain sex. Mud fuck. Naked in blackberries. Naked pretzel. Naked sunburn. Naked twister. Oral sex on the beach. Passion pussy. Passionate kiss. Passionate screw. Peppermint screw. Perfect screw. Piece of ass. Pink nipple. Pink pussy. Purple Alaskan thunderfuck. Pussy on your face. Raspberry screw. Red hot lover. Red hot passion. Red raw ass. Russian pussy. Rusty screw. Sand in your ass. Sand in your butt. Sand in your crack. Screaming multiple climax. What everybody wants. Screaming nipple twister. Screw you. Screwed banana. Screwed driver. Screwed strawberry stripper. And here come the sex ones. Sex. Sex and candy. Sex appeal. Excuse me. Sex appeal. Sex by the lake. Sex in a gumbo bubblegum factory. Sex in a jacuzzi. Sex in a tent. Sex in a tree. Sex in the city. Sex in the desert. Sex in the forest. Sex in the jungle. Sex in the shower. Sex in the sun. Sex, lies, and video poker. I hardly know her. Sex on an Arizona beach. Sex on Daytona beach. Sex on Malibu beach. Sex on my face. Sex on the beach. Sex on the beach, southern style. Sex on the beach in winter. Sex on the beach with a California blonde. Sex on the beach with a friend. Sex on the boat. Sex on the brain. Sex on the farm. Sex on the grass. Sex on the sidewalk. Sex on the sofa. Sex under the boardwalk. Sex under the sun. Sex wax. Sex with a virgin. Sex with the bartender. Sex with the captain. Sexual deviance. Sexual harassment. Sexual longing. Sexual peak. Sexual trance. Sexy blue-eyed boy. I have brown eyes. Sexy green frogs. Again with the hoppers. Sexy motherfucker. Shag in the sand. Sicilian sex. Silky screw. Slippery dick. Slow comfortable fuzzy screw. Slow comfortable screw. Slow comfortable screw 151 times in the dark. Slow comfortable screw up against the wall. Slow comfortable screw up against the wall with a bang. Slow comfortable screw between the sheets. Slow comfortable screw Mexican style. Slow comfortable screw in a dog box. Slow comfortable screw up against a fuzzy wall. Slow fuzzy screw. Slow fuzzy screw up against the wall. Slow passionate screw. Slow screw. Slow screw mildly comfortable, slightly wild. Slow screw up against the wall. Smooth and sexy. Soapy tits. Southern sex. Stop and go naked. Sweet sex. A thumb in the ass. Thunderfuck. Tropical screw. Tropical sex. $20 blue job. Twisted asshole, twisted screw, virgin sex on the beach, wet pussy, wild screw, wild sex, wild squirrel sex. And now for a couple of contributions from the community at large. I'm just going to read all the ones that I have here. Oh, I know which ones they are. Okay, here we go. Absolute sex, angel's tit, bald pussy. 
I gotta scroll for these ones. Between the Sheets, Blowjob, Bosom Caresser, Buttery Nipple, Climax, Gorilla Tits, Gotham, Knickerbocker Cocktail, Leg Spreader, Purple Penis, Red-Headed Whore. Is that all of them? Slow Comfortable Screw, but now instead of slow as in slow, it's slow as in slow gin. Slow Comfortable Screw up against the wall with satin pillows. All the sexy cocktails that we have. Did any of these peak your fancy? Did any of these peak your penis? Did any of these peak your clitoris? And if you don't have either of those sexual organs, did any of them peak you in general? I'm now gonna take a moment to look and see what the heck I missed in chat because this thing just kept on going. Gotham, question mark. Gotham, Batman. Oh my God, what do we have here? Oh wow, I missed all these. Wow, wowza. All is, okay, okay, let me see. Let me get, let me get. I should write some of these down so that I don't forget about them. This is a great idea, Cameron. What an excellent idea, Cameron. Oh my goodness. Can't do this while backwards. Oh, I still have my notes on the board. Silly me. Oh, ASMR style. Wow, 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 that was cool. Go. That was cool. Sexy. Oh, photo. Ass. Just ass. 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 Bear naked lady? Bear lady? No, not bear as in like... Bear as in... <laughs> bear naked lady. Like the band. Naked... Lady. I see naked ladies. And others. Breast milk on acid? Question mark. Cyber six orgasm. Oh yeah. What was that? Something breast milk on acid? Breast milkies. I spelled that wrong. On acid. Wow, this thing is not doing me well. Oh, well now I've got white all over my wrist. Cyber sex orgasm sounds awesome. I know, right? Cyber sex orgasm. Orgasm? Or other gasms? I need to wipe that off my wrist before it starts spreading. Oh no! It got all over my red! The white has mixed with the red! You can't tell because the lights are red, so you can't actually see what's on my wrist right now. It's actually incredible. Ooh! It's the hallucinogenic mucus and long tongue. That's why all the fro- that's why all the frogs- Oh, dude. Fuck you, bussy! I mean, buddy, for the win. Dude, fuck you, bussy. And your buddy. Fuck. Your. Buddy. How can we make that bussy instead? How do we modify it? Sand literally anywhere. Neither does red raw ass. Naked sunburn does not sound sexy at all. Neither, no, it does not. Neither does the red raw ass. Sand anywhere is uncomfy. Jacuzzi stream when? Um, I do have an inflatable bathtub that I sent back to my parents' place. Hmm. I have ideas. Slow down, you say. Put your foot on the hot water and chill out. Oh, I, can't, I was literally was not even waiting. <laughs> Although I managed to get the whole ass jacuzzi. Oh wait, Gotham, as long as those drinks are that, I want the last one. Peak or peak? Peak. Sexual peak. Sexual peak. Sexual peak. Peak. Peak as in like, peak, top of the mountain. Not peak as in peaked my interest. Although I did use that incorrectly. Fuck your buddy's bussy. Clip that please, bear versus bear, jacuzzi tub stream. Incredible. Alexa, turn on the bar lights. All right, I think. Sexy time's over. Is sexy time over? Sexy time is not anywhere close to over, my goodness. Of course, it can't possibly be. Also, this marker sucks! I hate that thing. I can't use it anymore. I'm gonna use a tinier one instead. They say size doesn't matter, <laughs> but when it comes to my penis, that's it. That's the statement. Because I said two things there. Love that clip. Sexy time is never over. It's never over. My goodness gracious. All right, all right. Okay, my mother... <laughs> My mother just texted me that the bathtub is still downstairs. Goodwill has not picked it up yet. Do I want it back? Yes. Yes, I do, Mom. <laughs> that was hilarious. I, I'm going to check to see if I missed any messages on, like, Discord or something to see if anybody messaged me directly. It's no, There's no pressure to do so. Did you Did you mean me? We have contrib contributors. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hi, Cam's mom. Hi, Cam's mom. <laughs> cam boy. Cam girl. Cam cam. Can I do the cam cam? Anyways. Whew. Let's take a step back. Which of these seem doable? Ass. Ass is a good one. Mom with an X. Mogsum. Mogsum's got a lot of moxie. You know what I mean? Ass. What goes in ass? Vodka. Lemon lime soda. Orange juice. Grenadine. And that's it. I have all those. And you know what's even better? I don't. Actually, I do have oranges. Yeah. We can totally do that. Let's make ass. I forgot that I have a labeler. I have a place on my board to label things. And I completely forgot to utilize it. So let's utilize it. 
Previously, this was- Do you need oranges? Do I need oranges? I have oranges. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh my god. I caught it. Wait, give me the other one. Do it again. Oh, oh god, it's all over me. I got this from my CI earlier. And I got this from work, it's great. All right, everybody. What you've all been waiting for. Ass. Tell me that wasn't clippable. Let me put this thing away. Attack of the oranges. Dude, they're tiny. They're so tiny. I think they're actually clementine. Wait a minute. Take, take a load of this. Go get a load of these oranges. Look at my two oranges. They fit so comfortably in my robe. They do, actually. And, and now I need to go get them out. Wait, hold on a second. I got it. Oh my god! No, little baby! Well, at least I've got one of my proverbial nuts. That's a good thing. They feel like they fit like little saggy boobs. <laughs> anyway, photo received. Incredible. Oh my goodness. All right, how to make ass. We need vodka, lemon lime soda, OJ, and grenadine. I have an OJ, I don't know, masturbator. I'm gonna call it a masturbator. This is not a strainer, it's a masturbator. It's inappropriate this evening. I need vodka. What kind of vodka do I wanna use? Do I wanna, is this like top quality ass? Or is this like, just like any old piece of ass? Cause like the vodka that I choose depends on your answer. We also need lemon lime soda. I got, I got spray. Spray, spray all over the town. That's a, that's a really great one mine, so I'm actually running low on Sprite, come to think of it. My, uh, my, my little, my little rose back here is getting caught. Honestly, ass sounds so tasty and right up Lil Abe's alley. Citrus Reamer? One night stand ass? Or, this is just any old piece of ass. So, this is a piece of ass I ran into on my way home, um, right before stream started. Um, you might think that it was my fiance who gave me all these beautiful, beautiful kisses. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with cheap vodka. It's 360. Uh, I've had this for like two years now. It's not, it's not terrible. It wasn't a terrible piece of ass. It's just, just ass. You know. Need OJ. Got my slim and nine soda. I need some grenadine. I'm gonna go grab some grenadine. Grenadine. I hope my Italian friend doesn't get mad at me for that statement. <laughs> Grenadine. I just realized too, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create stream markers to better allow me to chapter these videos out properly afterwards. I've realized over the past like month or so, I've been covering more, I say I, we've been covering more and more cocktails every stream and it's become that much harder to really cat, to really uh, keep track and chapter all these things. So if it takes a little while for it to get done, I appreciate your patience. And if you don't, fuck you, X-rated cocktail stream today. Tonight, and maybe elsewhere. Ass, ass, ass. Another one bites my ass. A ass, ass, ass. Put it in a highball glass. Build over ice, then you stir. That's how I like my ass, yeah! Okay, I need a highball glass. Um, this is the closest thing I have to an eyeball, a highball. I'm gonna put, actually, I used to have a really nice highball glass. This is a really, really large glass. Not gonna work the way that I want to. I'm gonna give it a try anyway. It's the tallest glass that I have. Um, I did have a really nice, like, thin highball glass once upon a time, but it broke it on stream one time, so it's just how it's gonna be. I don't have ice cubes that are big enough for that, do I? Do I? No, one of my ice balls it fell. That's what I get for precariously placing my ice in the fridge. I got plenty of ice here. We just need to build it over ice and give it a stir. So I'm just gonna take ice. 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 Baby. And by baby, I mean come. Obviously. All right, let's go for it. <laughs> All right, I was just checking my notifications as a, as a youngin' like me would do. Gen Z or millennial? I don't even know what I am. I'm gonna need in here two parts of vodka. It says parts. I could be measuring in ounces. Let's try to see what happens if I go with a one ounce base. Two ounces are about 59 milliliters of vodka. Get the cheap stuff. This is just any old piece of ass. Nothing special. Top that. Ooh, I spilled on the bar. 
Sex isn't an exact science. We'll tap that back off. I don't know how fermentation... Baby has just come fermented for nine months in a uterus. I don't know how fermentation works. That is... That is how babies are made, right? Two people engage in sexual activity, then baby is, is basically the equivalent of, like... Like, whatever's left at the bottom of the beer after all the yeast is dried out. I don't know what you call it at the bottom. When you use, when you make the alcohol, the yeast falls to the bottom and becomes this, like, yeah. I don't remember what it's called. Um, that's your baby. That's the analogy. Put my vodka away. The next thing we need is a lemon lime soda. We need one part of that. Give that a crackle. More or less? Just tell me when to stop. I need about an ounce of this. Sprite, or some equivalent lemon lime soda. If I can make my own lemon lime soda, which I'm sure I'll figure out how to do one day, I will. I'm gonna put that to the side. I may come back again. I'm not so sure. We also need one part of orange juice. The only thing that we can do now is masturbate our oranges. You heard me, masturbate our oranges. But Cameron, what does that mean? I'm about to show you. It's really not as bad as it sounds, I promise you. Rim reamer. Somebody said rim, rim, rim in the, rim in the, rim in the, something like that. Where's my knife? Oh, there you are. It's my penis. Just kidding. This is a, uh, an orange that's been sitting around for quite a while, so I think it's going to be very, very juicy. All I got to do is crack through the tough skin. That's the beautiful thing about, like, even if the oranges, like, sit around for a lot of a while, so long as they're not, like, molding and stuff, they still, they keep all that juice in them. They got, oh my god, like, how juicy this orange is. It's still got so much juice to it. I'm not gonna squeeze it, otherwise I'd make a mess of all of my glasses. Ooh, speaking of my glasses, I um, I found a little spider in one of my glasses over there. They don't all get used all the time, and uh, after stream, I'm gonna let them. I'm gonna let them go. I'm gonna put them in the window. But I think he's just chilling down there. Yeah, he's just chilling down there. Yo, actually, we have the cocktail camera. Um, warning. I'm gonna put a spider on screen for those who suffer from arachnophobia. Watch out. X-rated. Not safe for work. Let's see if we can get a little view of this little guy. Hello, buddy. Buddy. You see? Here. Is this guy right here? Can we see him? Tiny little guy. He's tiny little guy in there. Hello, little buddy. Hello, little buddy. I'm not going to touch you. I think you're just resting right now. Little guy. Hello, that little guy. I'll make sure he gets to a safe place afterwards. I'm not going to put liquor in that container. I will not. For the sanctity of our little guy. A little dude. I thought it was Halloween and not Valentine's Day. Yeah, it is. Or at least so we keep telling ourselves that. All right, let's masturbate this orange. What an adorable little spider. Drunken spider. Mother, please. <laughs> this woman. You know, my mother used to be a bartender too. Let's get some. Let's get some uh, Ca Cal family. Cal with the next family backstory. My mother used to be a bartender. I uh, remember she'd take me to the bar that she worked at, and I would play Rampage on the arcade machines as she would work. Legend has it that there was a patron who would come in with a boa constrictor, and my mother would very comfortably take that boa, put it on her arms, and serve drinks like the absolute badass motherfucker she is. Or at least so the stories go. I have no memory of that. I'm sure somebody's got. It. I think there's a picture of that somewhere in our in our my parents' house. I'm pretty sure there was there is somewhere. But um. Anyway, uh, you could say the apple does not fall far fall. Thong, <laughs> yeah. You know what I was about to say there. Um, anyway, one, a couple of the books that I have here were, were actually my mother's. I started getting into cocktails because the beer at my fraternity was shit, and liquor was just the better option. Liquor? I hardly know her. I can make that joke more times than once because this is an X-rated stream, or so I'm going to continue telling myself that so I don't feel weird about it. All right, these... All right, so I was saying how you can take, like, older oranges and stuff, and really suck the juice out of them. Like, really get what all they came here for. Um, this is the kind of mess that you're gonna be left with. I'm not gonna put that up with your camera. That's fine, we're okay. All right, so I got some orange juice in there. I got some OJ. Got some OJ in there. I need about an ounce of that. That's how I measured it. And it looks like we have to put a splash of grenadine in there. So I think this would probably be better done as a double. Because again, this should be in a highball glass. And if I'm correct in saying highball glasses are usually a bit thinner, but they do have a tall like visage to them. So this is too big of a glass. I think this is more equivalent to like a Collins glass. Because um, the glass you use matters. If you use the glass that's too big, the ratios are going to be all weird and stuff. So you want to, if you know what you're doing, uh, which I 
tend to pretend that I do, you pick the right glass. And I just don't have any, uh, I don't have any highball glasses, unfortunately. I used to not have coupe glasses, uh, but I think Anna and I are going to go to the thrift store this weekend to celebrate um, some post-Valentine's Day plans. And I think we'll be stopping at the thrift store so I can pick up some more glasses. As if I didn't have enough. In any case, so I'm not going to fill the glass all the way up. I'm just going to do whatever I can here because I'm not going to drink the whole damn thing. Also, I fucking hate this strainer so much. I hate this orange juice rim jobber thing, whatever. You need to do a grapefruit drink and talk about the grapefruit technique thing. Yeah, like sticking your penis in a grapefruit. That's the technique, right? That's that's what we're talking about, right? That's why you brought it up during the X-rated cocktail stream. You sicko. We also need to put a splash of grenadine in there. I'm going to splash it the same way that I do my own masturbation techniques. Yeah. Splash. Splash. Ah. Oh, please don't get stuck on my coat. Oh, and just like that, I've made a mess too. Just like when I masturbate for real. <laughs> Incredible! Why is he sharing such things? If you're uncomfortable, get out. I tell you, Orange! Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's 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 the one. That's the head pets. I'm so proud of you. You picked the exact right sign to bring that up. Anyways, I'm gonna put the rest of my OJ away. Way <laughs> that was funny to say. Um, you can see here. Mm -hmm. you really can't see here, can you? Fix that cam. Fix that cam, cam. Can you do the cam, cam? You can kind of see here. It's not really well mixed. That's why. I'm going to take my sloppy second bar spoon and give it a little bit of a stir. I'm going to get the color all evened out. What was this? Ass? Hmm. You know, technically, if we put peach schnapps in here, we can make it a fuzzy ass. You know, fuck it. We're going to make it a fuzzy ass. I feel like if I'm going to go for some piece of ass, it might, about, might as well be worth my while. Let's put a splash of peach schnapps in there. Like an ounce or so. I don't know. There we go. Yeah, let's do another one. There we go. Peach schnapps. Now it's a fuzzy ass. And so actually, y'all might have caught on earlier when we were going through all the different names and stuff. You might have noticed a lot of them sounded really, really similar. Like the slow, comfy fuck up against the wall. The slow, comfy fuck up against the fuzzy wall. Or just all that stuff. For the most part, when you see things like that, those cocktails names that just go on and on and on, it probably means that each one of those names is coming from a particular ingredient in the thing. So, for example, a Harvey Wallbanger is a cocktail that uses a vanilla liqueur called Galliano. Uh, I, believe it's a I believe it's a vanilla flavor. And so if you see something that mentions a wall, it might be referring to the addition of Galliano in there. If, for instance, you see something that says slow, it might actually be referring to slow gin or something completely different. If you see something that's fuzzy, it's probably peach schnapps. If you see something that says comfortable, it's probably southern comfort. And uh, there was probably more in there somewhere. There was definitely more in there. Um, if you see peppermint, it probably means peppermint schnapps or whatever. If you see sex in a bubblegum factory, creme de banana, blue curacao, apricot brandy, and rum. You can actually make things that taste like bubblegum and it's... It's, it's like fucking cocktail science. It's absolutely amazing. I think if you take grenadine, banana, liqueur... Oh, I'm blanking. Grenadine, banana, liqueur, some sort of cream liqueur. I think Irish cream and something else. And you put it together, it legit tastes like bubblegum. And it's like, oh my god. I discovered that one time. It's one of my other cocktail books. I'll have to do that on stream sometime. Because it's good. Oh man, that's good. Holy spagoodles. I gotta put a straw in there. Oh, I'm messing my face. Here, my straw. Let's do the biggest, blackest straw I have. It's a metaphor. Actually, you know, what, whatever. What, what else do we want to garnish this thing with? I don't know. It's ass. <laughs> what do you garnish ass with? I could drizzle a bunch of agave syrup over top, and it's like the ass got gooey, I guess. I remember the bubble gum. So good. So good. One of my bar patrons out there is remembering the beautiful mix, mixological uh, things that we've created. It's great. Shove that phallic object in the ass. Phallic object. Yo, wait, wait, wait. Oh, you meant the straw. I'm gonna say. I actually, full disclosure, as soon as I saw X-rated cocktails, and as soon as I remembered Valentine's Day sex, I thought, can I bring a dildo on stream? According to Twitch's 
terms of service, you can't bring a dildo on stream unless you were specific, or any sort of penis looking object like that, unless you were specifically using it for an educational purpose. And to be perfectly honest, I didn't think that you could use a dildo to store up your cocktails was educational enough. So I decided to opt against bringing the dildo on screen. However, I will say there is one off screen, but you will never see it. What does fuzzy ass taste like? Ooh. Wow. I was gonna say, none of this tastes like vodka, lemon juice, orange juice, or grenadine. Do you know what it does taste like? Peach schnapps. The peach schnapps are so, so good in there. I don't think I would have wanted my ass any other way. What any other way? But you gotta put the cock in cocktail. <laughs> I got you. That's a metaphor for my ginormous penis. Actually, this cocktail is summarize. This cocktail is really, really good. Tastes like peach schnapps. Goes really, really well with the uh, the, the lemon lime in there, the sprite, as well as the grenadine. I think my grenadine's kind of been sitting for a little while, so it adds a little bit of a nice like pomegranate like cherryish tinge. It's very good. It's very alcoholic. Um, this will fuck you up. Anyways, back to my penis comment. There is a, a band out there called Da Vinci's Notebook, and they made a song called Enormous Penis, and it's actually a wonderful song. I'll actually sing a little bit of it for you, because again, this thing. I take a look at my enormous penis, and my troubles start a melting away, but um bum I take a look at my enormous penis, and a happy times are coming to stay. I got a swing and a dance when I glance in my pants, and a feeling like a sunshiny day. I take a look at my enormous penis, and everything's going my way. It's a great song. Um, I, um, please. Please do look that up, that song up. It is so so good. It's so funny. It's like it's sung in like a barbershop quartet style. It's like it's an experience. Also, I just noticed, forgot to put my rings on. The serious fisting can begin. Anyway, we made ass. That was a nice piece of ass too. Despite the fact that it was just oh, any old piece of ass, you can make any old piece of ass good if you just add some peach in there. Any old ass got you down? Add a little fuzz. <laughs> I, I guess that's the that's the implication here. Anyway, ass is good. Um, I will say whether any of these cocktails are going to taste good is anybody's gamble. For the most part, it's just a lot of ingredients, very like very very um, sugar forward ingredients, all kind of being mixed together. Like you're not going to find anything like classic in here, like your sweet vermouth or your your whiskey gin or whatever you put in there. Um, it's going to be like fruity stuff. It's a lot of like fruity stuff all put together and various different liqueurs that I don't necessarily, I don't know if they play well together, but that's the whole point of finding out. It, my dearest has come running up the stairs and I'm afraid. Oh, mm. um, so if I want to go to the Disney exposition on opening day, we have to go during the day. There's one slot left and it is at 4.30. We can go to the Franklin Institute, yes. but it increases it by like twenty dollars. Yes. Come on, I'm gonna go buy tickets. Anna and I are planning our post Valentine's Day plans. They have a Disney exhibition opening up at the Franklin Institute. Disney and of course, of course, we gotta see it. Of course, we gotta see it. Amy Chow says, one of our favorite songs to annoy Jasper with back home. Da Vinci's Notebook is a fun group, indeed. Anyway, S, your ass is grass, and I'm going to mow. <laughs> That was me censoring whatever sound Anna was making off camera. I wanna go, you wanna go, you wanna go for what, dude? Franklin Institute or the greatest ass railing of a lifetime? I wanna go to the Franklin Institute. I don't okay, because I wanna go to the greatest ass railing of a lifetime. What are you doing? I'm bringing... Yo, toss him! Stuff. Toss him and I'll hump him like a dog does to stuffed animals. Okay, see, that would have been inappropriate. You can't do things that imply, like, motions involving sexual activity on stream. That's against Twitch's terms of service. And if I started humping a stuffed animal, um, it's probably not against TOS. However, I would look like a dog, I guess. A young, little frisky dog that, you know. You're gross. I'm not gonna hump a stuffed animal. I might hump my bar, though. Depends on how many drinks that we get in tonight. Anyway, what's next on our list? Allow me to show my ass to the camera. I am wearing pants, I promise. Bare naked lady, fuck your buddy, or their bussy, sexual peak, cyber sex, oh, awesome. I'm gonna fuck my buddy, that sounds fun. No way!
away, Jose! That poor stuffed animal. <laughs> now Austin's not gonna shut up about Disney. <laughs> I have started something wonderful. Okay, let's go back into the cocktail book and see, try to find my buddy. My buddy's in here somewhere and I wanna fuck him. How do we fuck my buddy? Hmm. Actually seems like pretty, it's pretty easy to fuck your bud. Hmm. Oh my god, I just noticed! There's a cocktail in here called Fuzzy Ass! <laughs> and it's peach schnapps, sour mix, grenadine, triple sec, lemon lime soda, and citrus flavored vodka. That's like, it's similar to what we did. And you put it in a Collins glass, there's more stuff in there. So instead of Fuzzy Ass, I did Ass Fuzz. That's my cocktail name, it's called Ass Fuzz. Ass. Fuzz. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Wait, we'll go to the opening and then we can go again with whomever wishes to join. When is it close? Months from now. Anyways, let's do... Let's fuck our buddy. That sounds fun. Fuck your buddy. I'm gonna fucking our buddy. It's really easy to do. Fuck your buddy. Just, just, all it needs is two, two people to fuck your buddy. Just get you and a buddy. It's so easy to do so. Why am I singing about this? Perhaps it makes it easier to cope with. I don't usually have the opportunity to just let the filter off, like just pop the filter off. So this is this is a joy. Some would say I'm climaxing right now. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. TOS. I am not climaxing right now. But metaphorically speaking, who knows? Okie dokie. What do we have next? We got fuck your buddy. I don't know if I need to like. Nah, I definitely don't need to censor that. I don't need to do that. I'll do whatever I want to. Huh. Puck. Your buddy. Wink. Fuck your buddy. Now the question here is, what, a, what about this cocktail makes it imply that it's my buddy as opposed to somebody else? There were a lot of fuck you cocktails so let's take a look and doing a, a, a thing fuck you is made with tequila jack daniels bourbon goldschlager which is a cinnamon liqueur rum and blueberry schnapps however fuck your buddy is made with amaretto coconut flavored rum aka malibu Roy R crown royal whiskey you just used whiskey i guess jack daniels which is just more whiskey splash of grenadine filling with pineapple juice and put it in a highball glass so Garrett! what dearest I'm masturbating up here! She didn't hear me say that. What? They only have two tickets for the 18. No, they only have one? They only have one. Oh. Can we still go to South Street and go thrift store shopping? I don't have enough time for two events. Oh. Can we plan this off stream? So I can continue continue jerking off, metaphorically speaking? We do the 19th. We do the 19th? That's Monday. 19th is Sunday. Is it really? Oh, I thought that was on Sunday. I was wrong. Yeah, we can do that. I'll go buy the tickets! We're gonna get it at 12.30! Now back to your regularly scheduled jerk-off session. My hands are up here. How do we make fuck your buddy? I don't really, you know... I don't have Jack Daniels, and I don't have Crown Royal Whiskey, so I'm inclined to just put more whiskey in it. And it's basically just equal parts Amaretto, Malibu, whiskey, bourbon, whatever, uh, grenadine and pineapple juice, and, um, uh, that sounds fun. The climax is a metaphor. When does it close? When did- Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, uh, I don't know when it closes, honestly. I probably, uh, I've just been going for a while. It's like their next exhibition, like the Harry Potter one lasted for a very long time, like a few months or so. I assume this one will probably last a little while, too. Um, that is, is my assumption. Alright. So I'm slightly modifying Fuck Your Buddy. Um, we could call it fuck your bussy. I don't know though. I don't know what the difference between my buddy and the bussy is in this case. Some would say they're kind of, they're not necessarily mutually exclusive, and I vibe with that. Go get those tickets, Anna! Go get them! What do we need? I forgot. Amaretto! I have Amaretto! Amaretto! I got Lazzaroni! What else do we need? Pew! Malibu! It's so easy to grab. It's right up in front because everybody loves it. And whiskey. Um, it says to use Crown Royal and equal parts with Jack Daniels. I don't exactly know what the flavor pro- I, I, It's been a very, very long moment since I've had Jack Daniels, so I don't exactly know what the flavor profile is. And I, you know, I have Crown Royal Apple, but that's not really the same thing here. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two 
whiskeys from my collection, and I'm just gonna put them together. I've got Old Granddad Kentucky Bourbon Whiskey, and I also have, actually, can we do two things that aren't bourbon? Do I have two things that aren't bourbon? I got a bourbon mash bill there. I got rye whiskey. I'm not using my rye whiskey on this. And let's go with Melicorn. I don't think I brought these guys on stream before. I bought some more whiskey, so I'm gonna use these two in their equal parts here. I'll line those up for the next part. For the, for the construction of the cocktail. And we also need to bring the grenadine back, so I really shouldn't have put that away. We need pineapple juice. I have pineapple juice. I think I have one can of pineapple juice remaining, so if this is what we're gonna use it on, that's just what we're gonna use it on. This guy, you have to shake the pineapple juice anyway, so. Do that. Diff is, one has chocolate liqueur. Ooh, I've been craving chocolate so much recently. Call it fuck your BFF. Dude, fuck your BFF. Do it. It's not awkward. There's nothing awkward about fucking your best friend forever. There's nothing awkward about it. Glenn? Just kidding. Anyways, let's make this cocktail. This needs to be made shaken with ice and then strained over ice in a highball glass. Again, don't have a highball glass. Don't have any of those. Um, so we're going to try to take the next best thing. However, I do need to shake it. I'm going to use my lovely looking shaker. The, the, the plaid one that I hate so much. I don't like it. It just, it just doesn't do well. Let's get some ice in there. I'm gonna need a couple different types of ice, so... <laughs> Mom! Get the camera! Mom, get the camera! I need ice. Why am I going in the fridge? I don't know, dude! I don't know! Put a couple of small ice cubes in there. And then a big old ice cube as well to get ourselves ready for the shakage! I significantly more... Oh no! I dropped my tiny ice cubes. I made a whole container of teeny tiny ice cubes because uh, I made sugar cubes last week and I got a new mold for it and it's, it's awesome. They're really, really cute. They make a cool sound effect. Let's, let's, these are all ice cubes in here. It's so tiny! And they sound awesome. Um, I can't think of the right application for these, so I'm not... I, 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 I don't know. I don't know yet. I just do not know. Anyway, I have my, I have my ice in my sugar glass and it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, sexy ace. And we're gonna put things in it. To fuck your BFF. Oh wait, we're modifying it, right? Yeah, we're modifying it a bit, so it's not your BFF. Or sorry, it's not your buddy, it's your BFF. Winky face, winky face, winky face, winky face, winky face. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You do know what I mean. Oh my god, the Austin just <laughs> just made himself a screwdriver and didn't even offer them a mimosa. Arnie a mimosa? The audacity! He is not the BFF anymore. Austin's in the doghouse. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> we need an ounce of amaretta. Get my... Get my measuring majigger. Here's an ounce of amaretto for your best friend there. The one who's not getting it anymore. <laughs> I'm so sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. Or maybe I'm not sorry. This used to be fuck your buddy, so maybe I'm not sorry, buddy. We also need an ounce of coconut flavored rum. Or Malibu. It's coconut flavor. It says right on the bottle. Caribbean rum with coconut liqueur. Original. Imported. Put it in your mouth. Put it in your body. It's the best way to drink Malibu. Yes! Yes, they say. Put some Malibu on your BFF. Your buddy. Fuck your Malibu! That's what it's all about. And it says CJ on the top of the I must have brought this to a party at some point. Good for me. Good for me. This accent. <laughs> skulls. We also need... Again. So it's equal parts whiskey. They call for splitting the difference of the whiskey between the Crown Royal and the Jack Daniels. I don't have either of them. So I'm gonna use Old Granddad, Bottled and Bond, 100 proof, 50% alcohol, and Mellow Corn, Kentucky Straight Corn Whiskey, also 100 proof. They were both Bottled and Bond. That's more boozy than you're usually going to get, but alas, I'm not gonna tell on you. What occurs on this stream tonight is behind closed doors. It's nobody's business but ours. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna split the difference. Half an ounce of each, or about 15 milliliters of both. Ooh, that was a nice sound. Do it again. Yeah. Love the sound of that. I love the sound of popping people's cherries. I mean corks. You know what I said. And then we'll do the other half with mellow corn. Um, actually, you know what I should do too? Last week, 
when I had my pal Eric on, basically anytime you use a new spirit, you can really learn about the spirit itself by taking a little sip of it and you can see how the different flavor components of the spirit that you're using really like come together in the cocktail. And so, again, totally forgot about it until now. Very dense individual with a raging heart on, so they say. I am gonna taste the whiskey. I'm gonna taste the whiskeys that I'm putting in there because honestly, it's about slowing down. And again, I am a very inexperienced a very immature and a, clearly and a very amateur bartender so it's all about learning and you can't get to where the big guys are and the big ladies and those who fall in between or beyond without practicing failing experimenting so um again i have a very very large collection of bottles back here and if that's intimidating to you it started with one what that one was it's probably di serona amaretto in my case you're opening an opportunity for a cornhole joke. Austin didn't know the ratio for mimosa, so he gave Annie a glass of orange juice with a splash of champagne. Dude, you gotta fill that girl up with the champagne. When I, I like my mimosas with equal parts OJ and champagne. It does not need to be overflowing with champagne. Champagne is not really my flavor profile, but when mixed nicely with OJ, I really like it. You can also put like a splash of literally any like fruit liqueur in there, like raspberry or apple or whatever. And it, it's, it's, it's now an apple mimosa. It's a raspberry mimosa. It's a coconut mimosa. It's all great. And it's delicious. Anyway, so this is my old granddad whiskey. Bottled and bond. It's got a nice smell to it. It's almost like a, it's almost sweet to smell. I don't really know what's going on there at all. Internet Drinking Man says that this has a peanutty taste to it. I'm not really getting. Well, when I think about peanut, I'm getting peanut, not nut nut. Different stream entirely. What's we getting there? I don't really know. There's some spices in there that I can't quite put my finger on. <laughs> Again, young, inexperienced, don't exactly know what I'm doing. We're trying our best over here. Okie dokie, what do we got? Fuzzy Mimosa when so this flavor brings the nuts, getting a penis nut taste. That's what I'm getting. It's all about the penis. Penis nut, peanut, penis nut, nut nut. <laughs> nut. <laughs> uh, anyway. Yo, what's up? <laughs> These nuts. Ha! Half of the mellow corn in there. Cornhole. Cornhole in your bunghole. There's the joke, I think. What does cornhole taste like? I actually tasted this one already. I don't re quite recall what my tasting notes were. I should really write these things down. Hmm. It definitely smells oh it smells definitely different than the um than the old granddad. This is good, more like, it actually does kind of smell like hay a little bit. There's, there's a piece of it that I, I, wonder, I don't know if it's getting like mixed up with the, uh, with the old granddad, but like a piece of this smells almost like hay on the farm. Actually quite nice. Almost tropical. Oh, that's completely different. Wow, okay. I can't quite articulate how different it is, but this tastes lighter. It doesn't taste as sweet as old granddad. It's drier and it's hitting my tongue back here on the sides. Again, don't exactly know how to best describe that in terms of like flavor profile and stuff, but compared to the old granddad, it is less sweet, more dry, more grainy, and less nut, I suppose. Anyway, that's not bad at all. I got a lot of cocktails this evening, so I'm gonna dump those tiny little samples there and put this back over here. Okay, so we've added uh, one, it's it's all in parts. So it's one part, one part, half part, half part, splash, fill, go. Um, but this is gonna get one, I'll be using in ounces. So we have an ounce, so about 30 milliliters of amaretto, same parts of Malibu or coconut flavored rum, half a part, 15 milliliters, half an ounce of some whiskey, and the same part of another whiskey. They use Crown Royal and Jack Daniels. If you're going for the, uh, uh, you know, your buddy is one of your favorites, right? So you go for the top quality whiskeys, the Canadian one, and then I guess, I think Jack Daniels is probably an American one. So maybe that's where they're getting the whole buddy thing from. The next thing they need is a splash of grenadine, just like they did before. I'm going to showcase to you all how I masturbate. Eh. That's all there is to it. There's really not a lot of sound. The sound is not for anybody's pleasure, but my own. 
And what else do we need? We also need to fill it with pineapple juice. I'm going to shake it with ice. I'm going to strain it over ice into my glass. It's said to use a highball glass. I'm going to use an old-fashioned glass or the closest thing I have to it. And then you fill the rest up with pineapple juice. So the pineapple juice comes last. Just like me, coming last. It's a sex joke! That was mildly inappropriate. <laughs> Oddly enough, this thing has spilled on me every single time I've used it, except for the time I put it right over top of my face. And if that ain't irony, I don't really know what is. Anyways, I'm gonna grab myself a, uh, I'm, gonna put, I'm gonna use this glass over here. If I, if I, um, I think of it this way. So I'm gonna pour this. Into my into my dice glass that I got from my pal Final Rhapsody, who's been on the stream before as well. Um, because if you're anticipating on fucking your buddy, I feel like you're taking a little bit of a gamble there. You could like ruin your friendship or something. And so, with that metaphor in mind, um, here's a here's a glass reminiscent of my gambling career, which was um, short and small, and not really anything to write home about. Like my keys. I'm gonna take one of my spherical ice cubes because they fit in this glass really well and it's satisfying to drop it in there. Nice. Awesome. Just like... Just like fucking your buddy. Evidently. That's the metaphor, right? I need to open this thing. Apparently I'm struggling to fuck my buddy too. Oh my goodness! No mess. No mess. Just love. We love a good gamble. That we do, that we do. Oh, we also need pineapple juice. Lo and behold, if I had to pick a buddy in this world, um, or B BFF, again, BFF, I got best friends forever, and he loves pineapple juice. Oh, and Anna, Anna's a fan of pineapple juice too, I guess. Nice, and we'll fill it with pineapple juice. Hopefully this doesn't like completely kill the amount of pineapple juice we have for the other cocktails, because there is more. Oh, I think that's gonna be just fine, actually. Excelente. Very wonderful. Nice. Fill that up with pineapple juice. And nice. All the way up to the top. Look at the little ball in there. Spherical ice cube. What a good little spherical ice cube. I'm gonna clean out my shaker first. Um, because I really don't wanna have to worry about that again. Because I'm probably gonna be going through quite a few of them this evening. So. You know what they say. You're doing a good, good show. Make sure to clean as you go. Clean as you go. So I'm cleaning as I go. There we go. Hopefully, at some point, I'll be able to find more shakers and stuff at, um, at a thrift store or whatever, or buy them online. It'd probably be a good idea, too. Oh, what am I doing? Hi, everybody. I'm back. This was Fuck Your Buddy, modified to be Fuck Your BFF. How do we do that? Well, you take one part of amaretto, one part of coconut flavored liqueur, half a part of Crown Royal whiskey or some whiskey, half a part of Jack Daniels or some other whiskey, bourbon, whatever your choice is, splash it with grenadine, and then fill the rest up with pineapple juice, shake it, and put it over ice. That's, that's, that's how easy it is. It's actually very easy to, uh, to, to, I guess, engage in sexual activities with those who are close to you in a, in a non-finite matter. Um, the repercussions though. Oh, I smell like pineapple and amaretto. Wow, that is an amazing smell. That smells so good. Mmm, that's good. Oh, wow. I didn't realize something this uncomfortable and downright dirty could taste so fucking good. This is really good. The pineapple and the Malibu... It's 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 a classic it's it's a classic mash. It's not not gonna taste good. It's really good. Wow, it is like forefront. It is that it is that coconut, it is that pineapple that is right off the top there. I um there's another there's another angle of the sweetness there. The amaretto, the Lazzaroni amaretto is sweeter than Malibu, so I'm getting bits of that in there as well. You use, I used the amaretto, the Lazzaroni in the orja that I used last week, and I can catch notes of that orja. So it's definitely coming from the uh, the amaretto. It's a very very sweet cocktail. It's a bit more on the boozier side, and I can really I can really taste and I can really feel the alcohol in there. But it's really really tasty, and I love the way it tastes. You could absolutely, you could absolutely potentially. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm getting hints of like something. Something in here is almost appley. 
This would go really, really well with uh, cinnamon. Like if you, oh, you know what? No, fuck it, let's do it, let's do it. I love my BFF so much that I'm gonna grate some cinnamon over top of it because I think that would make this even better. Feels good in the moment, but fucks you up long-term. Dangerous territory. Yeah, just like potentially ruining a friendship by engaging in sexual intercourse with somebody who you're close with, you know? That's not a metaphor. I'm gonna grate some cinnamon over Whoa, there we go. That's a good amount of cinnamon. Whoa, okay. Wow, I got a lot of- Oh my god. Got a lot of cinnamon bits. It smells so good over here. Oh my god, now it smells good! <laughs> Temptation is real. Oh my god. Worth the gamble of the best relationship ever? My boyfriend is also my BFF. My girl, my, whoa. My fiance is also one of my best friends forever. I have multiple best friends forever. I don't think it's, it's hard to, you know, the difference between my fiance and like my best friend friend is that like, I, 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 I'll engage in such activities with my fiance. I will also share parts of my life. Like I, I would be there, like, I'm very comfortable exploring pretty much everything in life with her as opposed to let's say other folks there's still like a comfort barrier that i'm not past with like the best friend friend thing yet you know but anyways that's relationship stuff that's behind us valentine's day was yesterday tonight's all about sex or at least that's what we're telling ourselves i just grated some cinnamon over top of this does it make it even better it smells good it smells even better actually it doesn't smell as much as like um it doesn't smell as good as it did anymore oh huh. so um Hmm. One of my dice fell out. One of the dice from the glass <laughs> fell out. <laughs> it used to be here and it just kind of fell out. <laughs> Let's see. It's a little cockeyed, but uh, um, roll for cocktail. Hmm. Well, that kind of sucks. I rolled a one. I don't think this relationship's gonna last. Oh, it's still so good though. The grated cinnamon isn't adding too much there. It's a it's a little bit. It's it's noticeable. Um, I use the salon cinnamon sticks. I feel like it probably would have been better with just the cinnamon sticks that you get, like the ground cinnamon that you can get like off the shelf. Um, but it's good though. I like that. That's why you don't fuck with a good thing. Moral of the story, ladies and gentlemen, and those who fall in between or beyond. That's what it's all about. See, even X-rated cocktails can have a moral to the story at the end. It's all about learning here. We're all learning together. Potentially barely clad in clothes. Potentially with a little Im impromptu uh, uh, promiscuousness. Orgiastic pleasures, hmm? Anyway, I will fix this. I will fix this later. I most definitely will. Actually, one of my- the other glass already did this. And you fix it with super glue. So, I'm, I'm prepared. If you don't have to nip- if you don't have a nip slip on stream, was it truly an X-rated stream? Bartender Cam will remember this nat one. Oh, damn it. For those of you who don't know, I played D&D with these folks out here, and um, Bartender Cameron is in the campaign. As in like, the persona that you see here, scantily clad in a robe and potentially asking for a nip slip, is, is, in, a, is in a fantastical world with magic, and um, put a lot of people in pain two weeks ago. This is really good. I really, really like this. This is the drink that I'm gonna keep with me back here. This, this, this is the bartender's drink. That's really, really good. That and water. I will remember this. <laughs> are male presenting nips banned on Twitch? Nope. No, they are not. So long as, so long as, I think the, it goes something like this. You can't ask me to nip slip and then I do it on command. That's no, no. That's you asking for something that is slightly sexual and if I provide it to you, it's almost like I incentivized it. Or almost like, oh man, if you drop bits, I'll do a nip slip, and that's not okay. Technically, dropping bits or donations and stuff like that, or channel points for drinks, is also not okay, because it encourages the consumption of potentially unsafe levels of alcohol. However, if something just kind of happens, like, I, I do present as male, if I present as male, so if I want to take this off, I can upon my own accord. Or at least, that is my interpretation of the Twitch terms of service. And if I am wrong, Somebody will either give me a slap on the wrist or a slap on my buttocks because it's the x-rated stream naturally Good question indeed very good questions very good questions open open to interpretation too. the um It's, it's I, I'm like totally okay talking with like 
the methodology and like philosophy behind all these different rules too because a lot of them are in flux like the whole like hot tub meta thing that came out caused twitch to change up their terms of service anyway so it's not like it is space it is a specific rule book law that cannot be changed with input from the community and different thoughts and stuff it can evolve over time because uh, twitch is a an evolving platform uh, although I don't think I have any sway on those conversations. In any case, we're almost at 30,000 hats. We almost are. And if we do, I'm not incentivizing this. I'm just saying anyway, I want to put whipped cream on my body and I will. And then also if we reach 30,000 hats, I'm going to be reading Ice Planet Barbarians at some point in the near future. It is a book about smut. I plan on reading the entire fucking book. And I'm gonna use the good microphone. This is not the good microphone. The good microphone's over there. So it's gonna get real spicy. But that one guy with female presenting nips got suspended or whatever. Yeah, for adjusting their shirt. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I think it's, I don't exactly know where it goes into for like people who have secondary sex characteristics that I guess, I don't know the, again, preface this. I don't know the right way to say this. So I'm just going to do the best I can. I don't know how it applies to people whose secondary sex characteristics do not match with the binary of the assignment at birth, per se. I don't know how it works there. Um, but that is a very, very good question for people who fall into those categories. Unfortunately, beyond the scope of my own discussion here. But let's talk more about penises. <laughs> or vaginas. Or anuses. Or mouths, I suppose. It's very lame. It is. But you know what's not lame? I don't know what's not lame. This almost tastes like marshmallows now. Don't know why. Getting marshmallow characteristics. That tastes really, really good. My god, I love fucking your BFF. Or was it mine? What's next on the list? What's next on the list? I'm gonna go into my prepared cocktails and pick something that wasn't on this list that we have back here. <clears throat> We're getting demonetized, aren't we? I have a comment. I wasn't monetized to begin with. Um, so to say, um, yeah, technically speaking, I am not, I don't know if I, I don't know what it's like to get demonetized on Twitch. Hypothetically speaking, if they take my affiliate agreement away from me for this, I don't want to be on this platform anyway. It means I can't have fun. That's fucking stupid. I'll move to YouTube in a heartbeat if they kick me off here. All right. What do I got? I got various different things here. What do I want to do next? <laughs> I want to do that one about the frog. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do that one about the frog. <laughs> Monetized, I get ads sometimes. Yeah, ads pop up. Quick note on ads. I have no control over ads. They just happen. They happen just because Amazon Twitch wants them to. I can cause ad breaks to happen. I do not. And the only benefit that we have there is that it will prevent pre-roll ads for people who pop into the stream later on. It's a it's a it's a topic of discussion that I kind of wish to have like um like a conversation at large with like the community and uh, I kind of had the idea of doing like Discord town halls and stuff to discuss about like how the streams should go. Like I guess here's a question to you guys right now. Do you prefer ads during the stream at controlled intervals? ads throughout the stream at random intervals or ads at the very very beginning of the stream would be my question for the people out there you're the guy you're the ones who are watching the ads so if we can finagle them in some way we can try to do that i'm on the page for frog cum and i will write that on my board more than awesome popping in here oh man this looks like a stream i'm sad i missed the start of it it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay all we had was a blowjob we had fucking your friend, and we had ass. Fuzzy. Ass fuzz. That's all we've done so far. And now it's getting better. Now we're doing frog ejaculate. Alexa, turn the face light green. Yeah! <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna write this on my board before I, got, before I get double demonetized. Oh no, he's on double secret probation! What's he gonna do? I don't know, man. Honestly, that's the thing here. Like, if something happens because I make a mistake on one platform and they hold it against me, I'll just move platforms. Like, I don't care. I'm not gonna stop making- Nobody's gonna stop me making this type of content. Alexa, turn on the bar lights. Oh shit. I'll turn the things back to normal. Incre oh my god, look at that frog emoji! <laughs> I love it! I prefer liking, following, and subscribing. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, smash that like button, and s s smash other things sexual. That was so funny. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Oh, frog come. I almost forgot. Frog. Come. 
Repeat after me, ladies, gentlemen, and those who fall in between or beyond. Frog. Cum. Frog cum, AKA the ejaculate of an amphibian creature. Great job, everybody. This is educational. Now somebody bring the dildo on set. No. You can't do that. You can't do that. Anyway, what's in frog cum? Vodka, melon liqueur, it's green, lemonade, and club soda. Mix it all in equal parts, build over ice, give it a stir. That's all there is to it. It's so easy to produce frog cum. Here's a glass. I thought frogs came from eggs. You have to fertilize those eggs, Annie. Somebody's gotta do it. I have, do I need anything from my fridge? I don't. Vodka, melon, lemonade, club soda. I got club soda. Let's gather our ingredients. Let's use this bottle of club soda. Nope, that's a really full bottle of club soda. Let's do this one. Let's get vodka. We're gonna do Tito's because for some reason when I think of, oh shit, that's on the ground. Oh, let's take, oh my god, wait a minute. Huh, I have a little nip of absolute vodka. That's kind of cool. This is the best I can do, lol, with all those, with all those. Yeah, it's funny. I'm gonna use absolute vodka. I got a little bit of this guy. I'm gonna do that. Coolio. And we need Midori, melon liqueur. There's probably other melon liqueurs out there, but this one's mine. It's green, like frogs, and they're penises, I assume. And we also need lemonade. So for that, I'm just gonna take sugar, water, and lemon juice, and combine that together. If it's an ounce of lemonade, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take an half an ounce of lemon juice, half an ounce of water, mix that together, and add some sugar to it. Give it a bit of a stir, and that should work out just fine in our favor. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build it over top of the glass. So I'm gonna get myself an ice cube and slow the fuck down. I just noticed how fast I'm talking, jeez. Is it because, like, I just can't wait to get past the frog come, or perhaps I'm just so excited for it? One can never be so sure. I'm still questioning it, too. I got a big old ice cube. That's all I need. I think this one actually fits this glass. I'm correct in saying. Fit the glass! Thank you. That's gonna warm up and fall to the bottom, and it's gonna be very, very good! Let's build it. You want to build it? All right, let's, let's do it. Let's do it together. Getting ready for the YouTube algorithm. Here we go. Um, so it's all equal parts. So we're going to do an ounce of every single one of these. It's about 30 milliliters. Club soda. Vodka. That Actually, let me squeeze the lemon juice first because that's going to be the most difficult part. And then we'll just do it rapid fire right into the glass. It'll be easy. Take a lemon. I'm going to take the lemon that looks more ugly because it's probably got more juice in it. Take that back. There we go. Give that a slice. Slice. All right, half an ounce of that lemon juice, and I've got water already, so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, not that, that's the, the shitty one. That's a beautiful cube! Thank you, I made them myself. I put them in a cube container, and then and then the, the, the rest was God. And my dick! Or so I keep telling myself. Half an ounce of your lemon juice. I um, should probably strain that. There's a lot of juice in this one. My goodness gracious. I'm gonna put that lemon back on the side for further use later on. Let me get, let me get a paper towel real quick. I'm trying not to like ruin my bar setup and the wood. That there's there's real wood here. This is all real wood. There's real wood here. There's real wood there, and there's real wood down there. The joke had to be made, and so I don't want to ruin that wood. I don't want to ruin any of this wood. If I ruin this wood, it makes me sad. If I ruin this wood, it makes me sad. If I ruin this wood, it makes everybody sad. Yeah. Anyway, half an ounce of lemon juice. I'm also going to need some water in there. The club soda, I feel like, is just going to do the job, but I don't know. Let's watch and find out. What color will it be? What's the color of the cocktail? Cocktail's called frog cum. Can you guess what the color is? Put your best guesses in chat today. Half an ounce of lemon juice. Let's go grab some water from our filtration system. We're also going to add about half an ounce of water. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take a bit of sugar. How much sugar? Who fucking cares? We just want to make a drink together. That's called frog cum. I'm just going to put it all over the place because when I'm making cocktails for frogs, I don't give a shit. Anyway, that's our lemonade. Very, very easy lemonade. We're also going to take an ounce of vodka. I've got absolute. It's this, it's this guy. Absolute vodka. Take a whole ounce of it. That's about half of one of these little nips. Mm. Mm. There we go. Put it on top. 
That was a lot of sugar, my goodness. That's a beautiful cube. Oh my god, a rose cube. I have some rose cube mix if you want to give them a try. Ooh, this is the Cameron energy I'm here for. This is what it's all about. Getting excited about the ejaculate of amphibian creatures. Boing, boing, boing. Anyway, we got the vodka out of the way. Awesome. I'm slowly, you see, what I'm actually doing here is I'm slowly but surely working on my actual bartender persona where you have to make drinks fast, talk really fast, and not really give a shit about anybody. Oh, green. What color do you think it's gonna be, chat? If you're green, if you say green, you're wrong. Wait for the magical transformation part. You ever watch like those magical animes where like the, the girls turn magical? Yeah, it's basically exactly like that. <laughs> Madoka Magica is my favorite magical girl anime. I especially miss the mommy character. Anybody who knows that reference? <laughs> and then add an ounce of Club Thoda. Guess what color it is? It's green, you idiots. Why wouldn't it be green? Everybody knows that frog semen is green. That's why they call it frog semen. Obviously. Duh. Oh my god, that is a vibrant green. Shut the fuck up. R.I.P. Mammy green. Oh my god. Tippy. <laughs> oh my god. Madoka Magic is the best anime of all time. Anyway, I'm gonna take a swig of my drink because of that reference. Dude, we just had another... Oh my god. We're really close to that reading smut on stream thing. Good stuff. Also, I thought I had, I thought I had my chat bot um, responding properly to channel point, uh, the, the goal redemptions. That's apparently not working. I apologize about that. It was supposed to be working this stream. I did that the other night on Monday. Y'all may not have caught on, but every other Monday I'm not streaming anymore. I assure you I'm not sitting on my butt. What I am doing is putting time into the stream, preparing for other cocktail recipes and stuff because I have a lot of fun with this, this, this stuff. And I really want to take the show to the next level. So I'm taking some more time to do that because that's what you got to do for it. Hashtag so close. He is also sitting on his butt while he does that. I'm not sitting on my butt. There's no, there's no chairs back here. I'm standing. There's nothing, nothing back here. Also, ouch, <laughs> ouch. Spit takes. All right, so frog cum equal parts vodka, melon liqueur, Midori. It's fucking green. Lemonade. We made it ourselves. And and the other stuff. Club soda. How's it taste? Oh god, it tastes like cum. <clears throat> Sing for us. Sing for us says. Oh, why is that not working? I don't think my chatbot's working. Hold up a second. I don't think my chatbot is working. Hold on. Test. Work out. That not working? Oh, well, that worked. That doesn't count. My chatbot is supposed to be looking at stuff. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, we just got a redemption for singing. I'm gonna sing. Anyone know any songs about frogs? Hip hop, the hip it, the hip it, the hip hip hop, you don't stop, the da, da, da. I don't really know. Um, this one's a song about frogs. Fr I, I'm, this is not gonna, this is not gonna rhyme. I'm trying to think of the best thing to do for the frogs. I don't know any frog songs, damn it! I don't know, someone redeemed to work that body. No, 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 that was me, that was me testing things. That was me testing things. Nobody, nobody redeemed that. That was me testing. It's not easy being green. What? Crazy frog song? The, the crazy frog, oh my god, wait, Kermit the Frog sings songs. Um, I need to look up the words to the Rainbow Connection right now. Because a green frog sings that. And what better way to celebrate frog semen than to sing the song that Kermit sings? Kermit, Rainbow Connection lyrics. There we go. I love that. Work that body. See, there's the real redemption. And it's still not working. What the heck, chatbot? Hmm, that's weird. I don't know why our chatbot's not working. That's so sad. Aw, I don't know why that's not working. I guess I have to look into that. That's so weird. Maybe if I reset it. We'll see if that does anything. I'm not so sure. In any case, if I had a frog, a very quiet frog, never even laughed when I joked. Anyway, here's Kermit the Frog. The rainbow connection. I, I don't know if I'm going to get this right. We're going to try our best. Actually, I don't really know how this goes, and I'm starting to get flustered, so I'm going to play the song at the same time. Let's hope I don't get muted. 
No, what are you doing? Amazon Music? No! Wait, Anna, can you do you know how the Rainbow Rainbow Connection song goes? Do you know how it starts? Why are there so many songs about rainbows? What's on the other side? Rainbows are visions, but only illusions. And rainbows have nothing to hide. I'm gonna sing this terribly, but I'm gonna try my dandest. I haven't listened to this song in a while. So we've been told, some choose to believe it. I know they're wrong, wait and see. Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection. The lovers, the dreamers, and me. Frog coming to my mouth. Oh, I love this song. Who said that every wish would be heard and answered when wished on the morning star. Somebody thought that and someone believed it. Look what it's done so far. What's so amazing that keeps us stargazing? And what do we think we might see? Someday we'll find it. The rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. I only know Kermit, activate voice modulation mode. Do this, Kermit, please. Have you been half asleep? And have you heard voices? I've heard them calling my name. Is this the sweet sound that calls the young sailors? Frog come in my mouth. <laughs> the voice that might be one and the same. I've heard it too many times to ignore it. It's something that I'm supposed to be. Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. Da 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 di da da dum da 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 di da da. Da not how he sounds. Do I don't remember how he streams, Miss B. I don't remember how the song goes. I don't know. Come to my mouth. Mmm. Mmm. I'm looking my fiance dead in the eyes right now. I I am both sorry and not sorry at the same time. Oh my god, I saw another work that body. I, I'm so sorry. I don't know why the chatbot's not working. My god, here, but I can I can fake test workout. I can test. Um, oh my god. All right, got it. Yeah, I know. What's it supposed to do? Where'd my chatbot go? For God's sake! I think my chatbot broke. Oh my god. Ah! Do it again. Oh no. Hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna do some exercises. Let's do jumping jacks. I'm impromptuing. <laughs> that's, what we're, that's what we're doing. Frog come in my mouth. Channel my inner frog puppet. Oh, Kermy, you look so different. Oh, Miss Piggy. Miss Floral. I'm sorry. I didn't do the workout that I promised you'd do. I, I don't know why the chatbot's not working today. I made some changes the other day and I tested them, um, but it's not working for some reason. So uh, I apologize about that. But it's okay. I gotta work my body. That's what it's all about. I'm a man of the people. And the people say work your body. I'm gonna work my body. So now, I'm not wearing a shirt. My hair looks like a mess. I haven't shaved in three days. And now I'll be sweating. <clears throat> oh my god. While also consuming alcohol. And I am wearing pants under here, but they're very loose pants and they just fell down. So please excuse that mishap. Dude, you're 500 points away from your smut stream. <sighs> I need a moment to rest, please. While sipping frog cum, excuse me. <sighs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Anyway, that's what you get for gosling frog cum consumption. Oh man! That's all it's all about. Not for long, imp face, says Amy Chow. Oh, we did it! The chatbot was supposed to put an image on the screen when we completed it, but we did it. You all have decided to donate your properly plaid party hats in celebration of one thing. That's right, erotica. Sex, in a book. I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna go get the book. Where's my book at? Here it is. 
<laughs> you sexy motherfuckers, you. This is a book called Ice Planet Lar Barbarians. It's by an author known as Ruby Dixon. Please allow me to give you a preview of Ice Planet Barbarians. But first and foremost... <laughs> Look at my chest hair! Anyways, lost. You'd think being abducted by aliens would be the worst thing that could happen to me. And you'd be wrong. Because now the aliens are having ship trouble, and they've left their cargo of human women, including me, on an ice planet. Found. And the only native inhabitant I've met? He's big, horned, blue, and really, really has a thing for me, ellipses. I need to use my cordial glass to lick it up. This is a terrible time for a photo not to work. Oh, right, because the photo's not working. Damn it. Wait, I wonder if I can restart it. Hold on. Yeah, wait a minute. It was working before. Let me try that. And now, maybe, as I attempt to eat my whipped cream again, Come on, chatbot. Come on, chatbot. I'm so sad. Oh my god, it's not working. I am very sorry, everybody. I guess we're gonna have to resort to Twitch's shitty clipping algorithm. In any case, here's a small... Another thing I wanted to do is to read a small excerpt from the book upon the completion of this goal. I am on page 85. <clears throat> Here we go. Oh god. Then he's licking me with that crazy tongue of his, sweeping those ridges over my sensitive flesh and lapping up my juices. I whimper and cling to his horns, spreading my legs wider. It feels utterly incredible. I've had sex before, and oral sex several times, but between the purring and the textured tongue, I've never had anything quite like this. Two licks and I'm moaning, three more and I'm... We'll get there. That's just a preview of what's to come. His tongue has ridges. His tongue has fucking ridges. They're ice planet barbarians. They're from another planet completely. My goodness. Yeah. Again, my absolute sincerest apologies for breaking like, for uh, playing around with something that apparently wasn't broken. I don't know what happened. That's what I get for fucking around with things. Actually, I have an idea. I have an idea. And I'm going to try something real quick. It's gonna be a bit of a deviation, so please excuse me for a moment, because I feel really bad about that. It's not working. Let me see if I can figure it out real quick. Let's see. I can go here, I see tools, I go to my here, and can I? Can I do that? Bye. Okay, I click a button. Stream's still going, right? Stream's still going. Okay, cool. Um, oh, it's not responding. I hope I can get it working. Oh my goodness gracious, this is what I do for... <laughs> this is what I get for screwing around with things. Are we still going? I am wearing pants, I promise. Yes. <laughs> we are still going. Alright, I did something not so good. Ah. Ooh, Cameron, we are on thin ice here. All right, well, I'm gonna, I, oh wait, has everything completely frozen? Oh, everything is completely frozen. Are we still going? Oh my God, we're still going. OBS is completely frozen. Can y'all still hear me? Hmm. Everything seems to be okay. Everyone seems to still hear me, right? Wonderful. This is interesting. I've never seen this before. I've never seen this happen before. This is really interesting. OBS is not responding. The stream will go on. The stream must continue. And so we shall. I have no idea what the fuck's going on. So we're gonna continue with it. Also, oh my god. Here we go. The stream must flow. And so should the whippets. Don't do whippets. Don't do drugs. Don't do drugs, kiddos. Anyways, um, all right. I guess I gotta be monitoring stream like the like the like the other folks. Okay, 
I can't wait for the reading stream. Way to force me to edge cam. Oh my god. Good for you. The stream is frozen. Has it? The stream isn't frozen. That's great. We can definitely tell you have pants on. This is wonderful. It's still streaming. This is wonderful. Alrighty then. Um, well, as OBS has a fucking heart attack, and I will apparently look into this, um, let's move on. Frog cum. It's very good, actually. <coughs> <coughs> Very, very tasty, actually. It's very, it's very sour. It tastes like lemonade. It tastes like a sweeter lemonade. That's, that's really all it's got going for it, to be perfectly honest. It's nothing crazy. It's essentially like taking lemonade, adding club soda to it, and also adding the Midori on top of it. It's really not that bad. If you're into sour drinks, this would probably be up your alley. This would require more sweetness for me. And actually, what I'm going to try to do is, last week when I was streaming with Eric, the, he, we kind of discussed a lot of the origins of certain cocktails and the fact that when you have something that's sour, you can counteract it with obvious, obviously sweetness, but you can also counteract it with other types of spirits. And I know one of the spirits that he suggested to use was maraschino. And so what I actually want to try to do is I'm going to take a little bit of maraschino and I'm going to put this into frog cum. So call it like a cherryish frog cum if we want to get down and dirty with it to see if that makes it more palatable to my particular tastes. Because I really didn't know what to do. I didn't really know what to do with drinks that were too sour for me. And this might be a step in the right direction. Is that the name I'd give to the bartender? Even better when it doesn't go down the wrong tube. Ooh, maraschino. Ooh, maraschino. Mm. I have a few bottles of things on more than awesome sales need for drinks. This drink is too too X, too alcoholic, too sexy, too inappropriate. I'm not really sure exactly. Maybe a sour drink that turns sweeter over time with sour gummy worms? That's an idea. I feel like you'd have to have something in there to dissolve the gummy worms, right? I mean, the alcohol will kind of do it, but I think the gelatin and the gelatin might get in the way there. Maybe like, maybe like, um, you can put sugar cubes in there. You can put other candies and stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, OBS is still having a heart attack. I'm just, I'm just happy the stream's still going. It's probably the weirdest technical difficulty I've ever experienced. I might actually be a glitch in, oh, you know, mm, I have a working theory of why things aren't working. Actually. Oh my god, that totally worked. Wow! Man, would you look at that! Frog cum with half an ounce of maraschino liqueur. I wouldn't call it frog cum. Let's just call it frog ejaculate. Frog ejaculate is the name of this cocktail. And it's... Ooh, I could sip on this liquid all day. That's much more palatable to me. The sourness has died back a little bit it's sweeter now uh comparatively because maraschino is a liqueur it does have sugar in it and it counteracts the sour really really well it's like it's almost like a sour cherryish, ish uh, but more so on the sour side than the cherry side it's definitely more sour than it is sweet um but it's more palatable for me i like that i'm gonna showcase that on the side of the bar what have we covered so far we've done four different libations so far we're about two hours in, just about, about an hour and a half. There's still more to go. I'm not stopping yet. Don't think a little bit of weirdness on the technical side of things is going to stop it. If this, if this train is still running down the tracks, we'll keep with it. Nah, the worms are chewy prizes, but the sour coating gets dissolved. That's true. Frogaculates? 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 I love it. That's fucking disgusting. I love it. Frogaculate. That's what we'll call it. Frog cum. Frog. Jackula. Add a bit of add a bit of cream and coffee liqueur, and we can call it the frog jackula latte. <laughs> <laughs> that's wonderfully. That's wonderfully disturbing. Goodness gracious. Wow. I was in the middle of typing that. <laughs> Mind meld over frog the semen. Oh my goodness. Okay. What shall we move on to next? Does anybody have a particular part of the body that they're fond of? Front, back, male, female, top, bottom? We did ass already, so we're not doing behind. And I don't think any of these called for anus specifically. There might have been something with anus. 
I don't, I don't think so. I don't think any of these called for anus. I've said anus like four times now. Hm. Hot. Boobs. <laughs> boobies. <laughs> There's stuff with boobies in here. Let me see if I have any of them specifically prepared. And then we'll take a look at that. Let's see now. We have... Angel's tit I have prepared. The bosom caresser. The breast caresser. Ooh, we could do the bosom caresser. Was that in this book or... I think there was one of these in this book, but I got this one from our community member. Bosom. 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 B-O. Nope. Community contribution time. A bosom caresser is made with brandy, white curacao, a dash of grenadine, and an egg yolk. Oh my god, yeah, we're doing that. Anne, are you still awake? Might have to go down and get an egg yolk. But yeah, we'll do that. Covering this one up. Cover it up, dude. What is that? To cover the whole spectrum. Yeah, tatas, you haven't done feet or toes. This is foo. This is true. This is foo. This is foo. This is true. I haven't done feet or toes. You're absolutely right. I don't know if any of these specifically call for feet or toes. Um, you can put your feet in the sand. There was a lot of in the sand cocktails. All right, so for this one, we need brandy, white curacao. I don't have white curacao or dry curacao. I have blue curacao. Um, but I've never seen a blue boob before. Um, because I don't, I don't, I don't strangle mammary glands, so they wouldn't be blue or purple. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to opt for a dry curacao equivalent. That's what I'll go for. Bosom curacao, brandy, white curacao, that's a grenadine. I need to have the grenadine already. I got some brandy down there, white curacao. I need to go get some eggs from downstairs, so I will go do that in a moment. I see a plus sign. If only there was one for thighs. If only. You didn't see Avatar 2? Please excuse me for a moment. I'm gonna go get some eggs from downstairs. Oh, how many eggs? Uh, two, please. Oh, I have three. Oh, perfect. I got three eggs. One of them's for my uh, sexual comment incoming. I can wait till you go downstairs. I will wait till you go downstairs. Thank you. Why is one of them cracked? Oh, that was the other one that was cracked. There were two of them. There were. I told you there were two that oh, were cracked. My one gracious. of them spilled, and the other one did not. This is brown stuff on it. That's why I brought three. Even better, it's down and dirty. Oh, I put these other eggs in the fridge. I thought you said you needed two at least. Well, I only need one for this one. That only require the yolk. I need to make sure I can find my yolk or two. Where's my yolker at? Yolker, yolker, yolker. I made it out of tinnies. Hee 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 hee. Where's my yolker? Where's my yolker? Oh, I know where it is. It wasn't a joke. I have found my yolker. I hardly know her. Hey, oh, three times tonight. Blue titties. Did you throw your chair down? Yeah, I pushed the chair down because it's too damn tall. Oh my god, that was a loud sound. Did it hit anything? Ah, nice, nice. I love throwing things over the bar. That's cool. That's funny. I don't want to break that. That's lovely. Don't break it. Don't break it. All right. Oh, I need to write a new thing on the board. It's not frog cum or frog jaculate or frog potentially jaculate. If we mixed it with cream and coffee. Oh, yeah, you're here. I love, I also have a joke pending that's inappropriate. Hey, hey, hey. I'm still waiting. Uh, Get the fuck out of here, bitch. No, just kidding. It's the X-rated cocktail stream. That's the only time that I would say that. That's so mean. It is pretty mean. Wait, you, you can say, say it all the time. You can say it back to me. No. She's really, really nice to me. And I was really, really mean to her. I'm decorating your bar. You're decorating my bar? Wait, what else is going? Oh. Oh, thank you. I don't know if that's on camera. Now it's on camera. I'm just trying to figure out. I have to clear this whole top area. Hi, Anna. Hi, Queen. Anna sighting. Oh, they saw her. Did you see her good side? It's all over her sides. You're funny. Now thin ice here, bud. How do we make the bosom caresser? Oh, I was gonna make a joke about eggs. Haha, <laughs> one of them for me to fertilize. Hey, yo, got him, dabs. Anyway, I need to pour all of these ingredients into a shaker. Two thirds full of ice cubes shake very, very well. Oddly enough, we're adding an egg to this cocktail, but we're not doing any sort of dry shake. We're gonna do a wet shake, and I'm gonna do it in my questionable cocktail container because I don't really feel like potentially making an eggy, eggy mess on my other one. Um, we are gonna add two ounces of brandy. I'm gonna go grab one of my brandies. Um, I have a cognac down here. I got a peach brandy. I've got Corbell brandy from one of my recent orders. I'm gonna add two ounces of that. I need my measuring majigger. 
wet, wet, and wild, two ounces, or about, whoa, pour the brandy on the bar cam, or about 59 milliliters of brandy. I also mentioned I needed ice. I didn't go and get the ice for some strange reason. I had forgotten, so now I'm gonna go do that now. What I like to do is take some small cubes and then add a big cube. It's what the pros like to do too, at least so they say. So they've been telling me. Two little cubes. Oh, there was liquid in there, I forgot! Man, I've been very, very rough with this bosom so far. That's unfortunate. Big cube, don't make a mess, don't make a mess, don't make a mess, don't make a mess. Caress. It's not the bosom asphyxiator, it's the bosom caresser. We're being gentle with the bosom. Gently caress your bosom. Do not squeeze it, do not tease it, caress it, love it, feel it. Or, or feel my bosom. It wants to be caressed too sometimes. It's not bad to feel like you want to cuddle as a man. Or potentially cuddle with another man. I've cuddled with men before. Nothing wrong with that. Two ounces of brandy, or what's left of it. <laughs> I need to add a little bit more in there. I definitely spilled a lot of that over. My goodness. <laughs> Ban it? Is that a hammer? Hammer it! hey -o, hammer it? Is that a hammer? Hit hammer? Hammer? <laughs> Bop it. <laughs> Bop it. <laughs> Bop it. <laughs> Twist it. Pull it. Wait a minute. That's, you shouldn't be doing that for the bosoms. Unless you like it that way. You can shout my bosoms if you want to. We have brandy. We need curacao. I don't have white curacao. Um, I have blue curacao. Sorry, I have to shag up my hair a little bit. It's, it's a part of the outfit. Nice. Ow. Stab myself with this rose. Um, I don't have. I don't want to use blue curacao, so I'm going to use this orange liqueur, Citronge, made with tequila, actually, instead. And I'm going to add an ounce of that to our cocktail shaker. I need to get some dry curacao. I, I have not been able to, I have looked for it, and I have not been able to find dry curacao in my liquor store. I know where I can source it. I made my first online liquor order the other day, and I was able to get Velvet Falernum. I was able to get Amaro Nonino. I was able to get a couple of different whiskeys and brandies as well to really, like, flesh out the bar. And I was very happy about that. Consumption says more than awesome. I'm gonna consume my drink back here. I should probably drink water, but I'm gonna do this instead. And then I'm gonna drink water. Oh man, that was fuck your BFF. <laughs> I love fucking my boyfriend forever. Take a big ol' sip of my water. You know, I'm gonna finish up my water so I can fill the thing back up. Good stuff, my dude. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm gonna fill up my water for a moment. Excuse me. Usually I try to hold back my burps, but again, X-rated, X-rated stream. This is my excuse. Otherwise, we try to act like proper, proper, proper gentlemen around here who just every once in a while have trouble speaking, but it's okay, it's just in our nature. I also need to add a dash of grenadine. So a little bit of red in there. I still have that on the floor over here. A lot of these, a lot of these are calling for grenadine for some reason. Just a splash. Eh. I don't usually make sounds when I pour my grenadine, but this one's a metaphor for my own masturbatory techniques, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep the joke going. It will end at the end of the stream. By the way, if this is not your kind of stream, there is absolutely no pressure to stick around. You can leave, and it will not be like this going forward. Also, I just remembered, there will be no cocktail stream next week, unfortunately. Anna and I are traveling to California. I completely forgot to mention that, but I'm mentioning it now. I will put an announcement in the Discord server, which is the place to be if you want up-to-date uh, up notes on the bar with an X and everything that happens over here. I've been trying to lean into that a little bit more because it's just a very convenient place for me to put updates. This is very, very easy. And also, there, there are video game streams on the channel too. And there's a Discord. If you do this, what is California? Discord, oh, but the bot with an X is dead. Damn it! One would hope your masturbatory habits are not quite as red. <laughs> I need to see a doctor. Let's put a yoke. In the thing. Yes, unfortunately the Discord bot is- the, the, the chat bot is not working right now. Otherwise, actually I need to do this in another container. I want the yolk, not the egg white. So instead of what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another unsuspecting container, one that I've already used, I guess. Nope, I don't have anything enough. 
Hmm. Oh, I've got all good cocktails in them. All right, let's just use this guy. Sacrifice. I'm gonna crack an egg over top of it and do that. Oh, thank you for putting the Discord invite there. Thank I guess I appreciate that. See, this is this is awesome. Um, I will say, I will say, um, in the very very early days of small streamerhood, it's hard to do. You gotta you gotta do a lot of stuff. You gotta pull a lot of your own weight. But as things get a little bigger, people start to notice, and we really start making really genuine connections with people. People want to come out and help, especially in the times where things are things are a little wonky. So, the, despite the fact that there are some technical difficulties going on, the stream is still going. And again, I've said it before, and I'll say it again: this does not continue without the the uh, the con contributions of everybody else. I'm trying as best as I possibly can to make things bigger and better, um, but I am only one individual. So, my sincerest thanks. And now for the next 20 seconds, we're going to do things couth, appropriate, and um, available to be worn out in public. Just kidding. Gooey, gooey, cummy egg white. I don't need that anymore. Oh my god, all that egg white. So I don't want the egg white here. What I want is only the yolk. So I've separated all of the egg white. And all I have is this dripping yolk remaining. So I'm going to pop that into my cocktail shaker because all i want is the yolk that's all i want yummy lol we're not talking about drinks do a handstand for me no click my link so i get the credit ah, nah, 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 nah. oh right all right all right 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 because you can make your own invites too all right i'm gonna have to put my yoker away um i don't know if any other ones call for egg white so i may actually have to use that later potentially we added two ounces about 5.9 milliliters of brandy one ounce or about 30 milliliters of some orange curacao equivalent. Uh, I have citronga. It is a dry. It is a dry. It is a very sweet orange liqueur. Um, a dash of grenadine, which is red, and egg yolk. Now we're gonna shake things together, and then shake very, very well, and strain into a cocktail glass. I'm gonna grab a coupe glass for this. This is probably gonna have a nice, gonna have a nice crema to it, because egg yolk will often. Ooh, ooh, a flip, a flip indeed. What uh, what these egg yolks will most likely do is they'll create a very bittering effect. Because they're a bit dry <laughs> to the mouth. So let's do it. I need my top. I need both parts of my top. Please keep your top on, Cameron. Yes, please. Absolutely. Also, who said something about a, a handstand? We're not talking about the drinks. Do a handstand. I can't do a handstand. Well, actually, I can do a handstand. What would you get? What would you, I'm trying to think? What would I ask you to do for me to make me do a handstand? Do I need a top? I don't need a top. I've got my robe on. I don't need a top. I can strip bare naked if I want to. Not gonna do it though. Consumption. Hell. Love that. All right, let's give this thing a flip. The egg yolk is going to rupture. It is going to be wonderful. Oh, I saw I'll work that body as well. Don't think I didn't see that. We are going to. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do butt kickers. I'm gonna do butt kickers while I shake this cocktail. That's what I'm gonna do. It. All right. As my middle school. Physics teacher, my middle school PE teacher used to say, Butt kickers, go! Go, Cal! Butt kickers! I'm gonna do like 20 of them. Don't forget to breathe when you're working out. It's supposed to be a really well shaken one, so this is totally okay. Oh my god, I actually knocked my slippers off. I am not wearing socks. I will be honest about that. Also, my towel is now in a different position. Man, my shoes are on backwards. That's sexy. Woo! I really need to get like a heartbeat thing. I think I think what I want to do is I wanna have I wanna have the ability to put like a heart rate meter up on top of the stream for whatever reason. I don't know. It'd be fun, I guess. Whew. Do a handstand. No. Fuck you. X-rated stream. I wouldn't normally say that. All right, how's the thing gonna look? Oh! I can't switch cocktail angles. Because OBS is having a heart attack. That's okay. Here come the sacrificial yoga blocks. We have backups. Oh my goodness, we have backups. I honestly thought to myself, like, do I need the sacrificial yoga blocks anymore? Like, I have the zoom function. This is why we double things up. I have my thing over here. Oh my god, it's perfect! Here's a very awkward view of my chest! 
It's what you've all been waiting for. Take a look at this little number here. Let's get closer in there. I need to prop this thing up on another book. I got a big book for you. Take a look at this fucker. Nice. How's that looking? How's that looking? Alrighty then. Alright, let's give it a strain. I gotta get the top off this thing first. Damn it. Alright, come on, dude. Let a little bit of the air out. Where'd my towel go? There's my towel. I gotta grip this thing with great strength. There we go. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, that's creamy, dude. That's creamy, bro. All right, how's that looking? I want to make some nice contrast. 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 It's probably going to be red. Ooh. That straight up looks like egg yolk. Mmm. All right, don't want to ruin the book. Do not want to ruin the book. Take a closer look at that. Creamy. Mmm. Creamy. I'm going to take this and put it elsewhere. That is a very eggy looking drink. That has a lot of egg yolk in it. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. I'd say take a photo while you still can, but you can't. Just how it be. Honestly, I'm at least glad that the other angle wasn't like uh, artifacting and stuff because previously that was my biggest problem. My biggest problem was the fact that the other angle was like artifacting and stuff. Unfortunately, that photo command is not going to work. For some reason, the Discord or the, um, the chat bot is having an absolute heart attack uh, and Discord won't let me switch camera angles, which also means that I'm not going to be able to end this stream the way that I usually do. Um, so instead of the, bye guys, ending ending stream that you'll get um i'm probably just going to go into task manager and end the stream completely that's how it's going to have to be um please excuse us as we get our shit together it happens that way in any case so we just made a drink called the bosom caresser it is creamy does not seem very gentle this does not feel like um does not feel like a very gentle drink however so think about that for a second right so if the it's a flip, basically, right? You got some you got some egg yolk in there. There is a certain dry creaminess associated with this now. There's an interesting kind of layer on top. Actually, what I'll do is I have, um, because the photo thing's not working, I'm going to take a photo of the cocktail and I will put it in the channel manually. That's what I will do. That's what I will do. I have the power to do so. We have many, many ways to back up over here, which is a great and wonderful thing. These usually go on, on topic, right? On topic. Lipstick or nipple? I don't know. Oh, it's lipstick. That picture is definitely lipstick. All right. There's the cocktail. This is what it looks like from my angle. I just put it in the on topic channel in the Discord server. Anybody wants to link that? Cool. But no pressure. Oh, please make sure that my microphone is still plugged in. That came unplugged earlier. Okie dokie. Um, but yeah, I guess maybe that's the philosophy behind this cocktail. All right. Bosom Caressa. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh! I was not at all expecting for that to taste like that. Wow! That's pretty good! So far, throughout all the cocktails this evening, aside from the original blowjab that I, came, that I gave on live Twitch, dude, guys, go back and watch the VOB. I gave an actual blowjob, and it was the best blowjob I've ever given, ever. Um, this is a really, really good cocktail. This is nice and complex. This is not as, like... Uh, yeah. All over the place, like some of the other drinks that we've made so far on. This is actually really, really good. There is a wonderful interplay going on between the creaminess of the egg yolk. I actually taste like a cream in there. It's really, really good. The brandy is kind of on the side, despite the fact that there's two whole ounces in there. The orange angle that I'm getting from that, um, from that Chitronga, that orange liqueur, is super duper great with the egg yolk. It's really, really good. What, what else did I have in there too? There was the brandy, there was the, um, the, uh, the Carissa, oh, and the grenadine, the grenadine in there too. I feel like I am tasting the grenadine. It might just be that extra sweetness because this is actually quite sweet, like unexpectedly so. Unexpectedly a good drink. Very, very boozy. I, I will say, there is a lot of booze in there, 
And first and foremost, I am tasting the booze. However, next to that, there is a creamy sweetness that isn't super, it is not super fruity. There's not a lot of fruit going on here, but the one fruit note that the orange liqueur managed to, manages to give almost makes it seem like it's like a puff pastry. This I actually, I just bought, um, I just bought for the first time the other day, Pinnacle Whipped Vodka. I've never had, I've never, I've never had this on stream before. I've never been able to use it. I literally bought it yesterday and I tried it the other night and it had a wonderful, wonderful, obviously kind of tasted like whipped cream. This would go really, really well in that personal recommendation. I like, I really like from one of the tasting notes I got last night, it would go so, so well in like an egg yolk cocktail. Oh, it'd be, it'd be good. And my, dude, my freaking, my rose is falling out of my hair. My goodness. That's good. That's good, fun, and wonderful. I really like that. Wow. More Than Awesome says, I used to pick up Pinnacle back when he wanted a fancy vodka, but couldn't afford the goose. Well, supposedly, somebody once told me, so if you have access to a Costco, Costco brand vodka, Kirkland, apparently uses the same distilleries that Grey Goose did. So it's essentially the same vodka, but significantly cheaper. I don't really know though. I'm not much of a vodka connoisseur. Just just notes from Fraternity Brothers of the past. That's really, really good. Wow. That's really good. This is a boozy cocktail with a creamy... It's not even that dry. It's a little dry. It is a little dry because of the egg yolk, but it, but it's creamy. It's sweet. It tastes a lot like, I mean, it tastes like tastes like other flips I've had. I've had a um, I don't remember what it was called, but it used Madeira, and I don't remember what the drink was called. This was this was many many streams ago, um, but it tasted very very similar to this, and it's definitely that egg yolk just giving that particular flavor to it. You may think that like egg yolk is like it's disgusting, like oh no, you wouldn't have that in a cocktail. It is a very very nice flavor, and I actually thought about it earlier. I was wondering whether you can ferment it. I know you can ferment an egg. I've had fermented egg in ramen before, and I thought, like, could you ferment egg and make liquor out of it? You can. There was one liqueur whose name escapes me, but apparently Advocat is a type of spirit, and it is made from, apparently, fermenting eggs. I thought it was made from fermenting avocados, but I think avocado, the root of the word, comes from whatever root of the word egg comes from in another language completely. I don't know, I'm not an entomological expert. I, however, am, reminding myself what the theme is this evening, a sexpert on penisology and vagina mathematics. X-rated, yeah. In any case, we move on. This was, we've covered a couple cocktails this evening so far. Um, so, we did a blowjob shot. It was delicious. I tried to take it with no hands. It was actually quite good. Um, we covered Fuck Your Buddy, which we turned into the BFF. Fuck Your BFF. We did one over here that was ass. We added some peach schnapps to it, so it's called Ass Fuzz. We made Frog Cum, which was actually delicious. And we had a really good heart-to-heart -heart moment there. Like, if you missed that, like, I apologize. VODs will come up on YouTube. And then we just made the Bosom Caresser, which, all things considered, a really, really tasty cocktail. It's essentially just a, it's a flip cocktail. You put some egg yolk in there. You put some, some brandy in there. You put spirit in there. I had one that had Madeira once upon a time, and it was super duper good. It was very tasty. And uh, this one is also very, very tasty. It is dry, though. I will say that. It is rather dry. So... I will, I will say that first and, for, first and foremost, but it's very, very tasty. And I feel like it brings a lot, of, it's, it's more sweet than you would expect it to be. And that might be the grenadine, might be the orange liqueur, I don't really know. In any case, ha <laughs> ha, Floral Mercy put boobs in chat. <laughs> it's a little like a, it's a, Floral Mercy says, left parenthesis, per, <clears throat> left parenthesis, period, right parenthesis, left parenthesis, period, right parenthesis. Sexy. All right, so I'm gonna put this one off to the side. That's a that's a keeper. That one's a keeper so far. Keeper or Harley Knower. That's four times this evening. Go get him, Cam. Just 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 go go get him. I will put that on the side. I still have my fuck your buddy over here. Fuck your BFF. And it's still really really good. The pineapple juice is sitting very very well. It still tastes good. It's it's Malibu pineapple. It's pretty much all that is. 
It was good. It still is good. It will forever be good. Because it was just designed that way. I'm going to give my bar a quick rub down. Like I'll do to my penis in just a moment. Just kidding, TOS. However, I can say penis as much as I want to because... This is my official message that if you are under the age of 18, get the fuck out! I love you. I love you. What's next on our cocktail thing? Oh, I didn't even put it up on the board! It was the bosom caresser! Gotta remind me to do that. Any case, what's next? X-rated cocktails. What's another X-rated thing that we can go? I don't know if there was any favorites. We can go back to the board of favorites before. Cyber... Oh, actually, you know what? One of these uses an ingredient that I bought last night, so I'm gonna try to find it. Which one, which one, which one? Which one, which one, which one? Oh. Mm. No. Maybe. Mm. I'm probably gonna do it. Oh, I'm probably gonna do it. I'm definitely gonna do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Back into the big book. Alright. So, I know we already did a cocktail called Fuck Your Buddy, aka Fuck Your BFF Modified. There's another one in here. It's called Fuck You. And Fuck You uses blueberry schnapps. Or blueberry vodka, blueberry liqueur. I've never had a drink with blueberry anything in it before, so I really, really wanted to try it. It also combines with tequila, whiskey bourbon, cinnamon liqueur, and rum. I really, really want to see how that tastes. So that's what I'm going to do. This next cocktail is called Fuck You. Nothing personal. <laughs> so let's put that on the board. I don't put the exclamation point. Just for dramatic effect. Ooh, says Imi Chow. Yeah. Mm, fuck you, affectionate. Hmm. Sexy. Is that a promise or a threat? When and where? LMAO is how I would usually re respond to statements like that. I really, I, I was bullied in middle school, and so I developed a wit to defend myself. And people would be like, fuck you, man. I'd be like, when and where, bitch? And they'd be like, that's fucking disgusting. And I'd be like, yeah, you right. You absolutely right. Um, and that's when people would stop fucking around with me because they realized I could talk smack back to them. And I still do, to this day. Okay. Fuck you. Yeah is made with equal parts tequila, Jack Daniels, wild turkey bourbon, Goldschläger, a cinnamon liqueur, rum, and blueberry schnapps. Again, I don't have Jack Daniels. I don't have wild turkey bourbon. I do have, though, I know, I have a, a forever, I have a bottle that I put whiskey bourbon into whenever I take from the bottle, and I know that there is a bit of wild turkey bourbon in here. So that's what I'm going to use it for. And we also need Goldschläger, the rum, and the blueberry schnapps. So I'm going to pull out all those ingredients for us. This gets shaken with ice and strained over. It's shaken with ice and then strained over ice. Not rice. Did I say rice? I did not mean rice. I'm going to take the nice shaker out. It's time to get into the nice shaker time. I'm going to need an ice cube, small ice cubes, and a couple of different ingredients. So I am going to go grab those real quick. Please excuse me a moment. You're just going to have to take my word for it, but I'm actually jerking off off screen. <laughs> and I'm having a great time. Just kidding. Just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Twitch mods. Twitch mods. I'm kidding. Kidding. Both both hands. Both hands up here. How could I possibly be jerking off with both of my hands above the bar? I, I don't even know. I've never seen it. It's impossible. It's basically impossible. It's basically impossible. It's not so basically impossible. It's complexically impossible as well. We are going to need tequila. I got, <laughs> uh, no, 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 wait, wait, do I have, oh, I don't have Hornitos. Ah, that would have been so perfect. It's got a funny name. I don't have a lot of Bribon left, so I'm going to take Bribon, which is a, uh, a tequila blanco. De agave, 100% de agave, blue Weber agave, as we discovered, or rather relearned on a previous stream, naturally. Um, so I need my tequila. I'll put these to the side, just because I don't think I have enough space on my, well, do I have enough space? Hmm. Hmm. Lickle. Liquor. Al alcohol. Liquor. Yeah. We also need 
Uh, so we're, we're gonna use, this is the stand-in for the wild turkey, the, my little endless bourbon blend, endless whiskey blend. And then we're gonna use, oh, we'll use a nicer whiskey for this one. Nicer, they say, I'm gonna do Larceny. I haven't used that one yet. This is Larceny, bottled in bond, small batch. Actually, it's not bottled in bond, it's only 92 proof. I lied. It's how it be. How it be. Next, what we're gonna need I lost my train of thought. Goldschlager, it's cinnamon liqueur. Let me go find that. Cinnamon liqueur. It's literally called Goldschlager. It's cinnamon liqueur. It is, and it's got a couple of little gold flakes in it. That's why they call it the Goldschlager. I don't know what Schlager is in German. Alexa, what is Schlagen from German to English? Yeah, cause that's cause you're stupid. That's okay, that's fine. What else I'm gonna need is rum. Doesn't say what kind of rum. So I'm just gonna go with a basic old Bacardi. It's the big one. So I'll put that to the side. I need more space in my bar for all my ingredients. My goodness gracious. What else do I need? Blueberry schnapps. Oh, so I don't actually have blueberry schnapps. Could not find blueberry schnapps at the store. I couldn't find butterscotch schnapps. I couldn't find blueberry schnapps. However, I was able to find a peanut butter whiskey equivalent, and I was able to find blueberry, easy drinking the Coors Faber flavored vodka. And I did try this last night, and it does taste like blueberry. Blueberry more like, I grew up drinking, like uh, eating a lot of oatmeal. Uh, growing, growing up, like before I go to school, I get like some those Quaker oats in a bowl, and this, smells and tastes like the way that the blueberry Quaker Oats oatmeal tasted and smelled. It's just a very, it's a very, very nostalgic uh, flavor for me. It really brings me back to my childhood. It's nostalgic. I love it. Anyways, we got all that. We need to combine all together every single one of these in equal parts. I'm going to use the standard measuring unit of an ounce, about 30 milliliters. If you're using a metric jigger, it's probably going to be 25 milliliters to each their own, all equal parts. Mix it however you want to. I... I'm gonna use my metric jigger for that, actually. So I'm gonna use 25 milliliters is gonna be my conversion rate. I'm gonna put one part of all of these into the cocktail shaker. I will take my dirty, my dirty, 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 dirty jigger, and I will clean it out a little bit. We'll probably need it later, and I will let that dry over here. All right. Also, I still have this tiny little it's not a it's not a kumquat, but I'm gonna call it a kumquat in the spirit of the X-rated stream. Um, and put that all to the side. All right, one ingredient at a time. Let's just go through all of them because we they're all sitting right here. We need about an ounce of blueberry liqueur. It smells awesome. It tastes like blueberry. Tastes like a piece of my childhood, except alcohol. And honestly. I'm down with that. We need an ounce of, the recipe calls for wild turkey bourbon. I know there's some wild turkey in my little endless bourbon bear, in my in little endless whiskey decanter. So I will add about an ounce of, with the with next brand, whiskey, I guess. And as is the rule, when you take from the endless whiskey decanter, you must fill it up with some other type of whiskey. And I have this Larceny small batch sitting right over here. So I will fill it up with the 25 milliliters of whiskey that I removed from it. There we go. And then I'll use that as the next ingredient to stand in for Jack Daniels. I don't have any Jack Daniels, so I'm gonna use this instead. Larceny, stand in for Jack. Bye bye me. There we go. What else are we gonna need? We're also gonna need cinnamon liqueur. I've got the gold Schlager here, just like the recipe calls for. However, you could probably use cinnamon schnapps if you don't have gold Schlager near you. I think it's pretty, it's pretty widely available. So I assume you can probably get it, but Fireball could probably be used here. I have Fireball, but um, I also have gold Schlager. And why the, why the fuck wouldn't I use gold Schlager? I say using my cursed words, which I don't usually do. I've actually kind of fallen out of <laughs> I really haven't. I know this is the x rated stream, and I really should be cursing more to stay in with this with the theme of all, but just like I don't know. It doesn't come natural me to curse about a lot of things, so it's just in my nature, I guess. We also need an ounce, about 25 milliliters, 20, 30 milliliters, whatever, of tequila. I'm going with a blanco, because it didn't specify otherwise. And this could be the last of my big bone? Maybe. Nah, there's quite a bit more in there. 
There's like probably another ounce left in here. A little bit. I've been working on this bottle of Big Bone for a while now. It's a really, it's a really good uh, Blanco tequila, white tequila. Very, very good. I recommend it. Um, I think I've also done, I don't know what other Blanco tequilas I've had. Can't remember. In any case, we also need rum. Again, doesn't specifically say what type of rum, so I'm just gonna go with like a Bacardi White. So what the hell, it's the one that I've got the most of. Actually, I have the most of Myers rum, and that's a that's a dark Jamaican rum. And it's good. It's good stuff indeed. The Jamaican rum. Uh the Bacardi here, it's just gonna be a it's a, a sweet, like sugar-ish base spirit. And it's gonna pair well. Say so we added tequila. Some Jack Daniel equivalent, some wild turkey bourbon equivalent, Goldschläger, or some cinnamon equivalent, rum. We used Bacardi, and blueberry schnapps. I didn't add the schnapps, so I used the vodka. That's what I did. I had my ice kind of cooling over here. I'm going to dump off all the excess water, which there was basically none of. And then we're going to top that off, and we are going to give it a shake. And then we're going to strain it into a glass that has also been filled with ice. I think what I want to do on this one. The cocktail's name is Fuck You. So what would be the biggest fuck you that I can think of? I wonder. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Sorry, I was one of my, um, the, um, one of my room, one of the suite mates and stuff. They were hearing some sounds and I wanted to make sure it wasn't me being too loud in the middle of the night. Although it's elsewhere. There's like, there's been like some like woman like screaming outside pretty much through the entirety of the stream so far. I'm... I, I hope she's okay. I'm sure everything's fine, but I'm gonna take a quick check for a moment to see. Let's see. Going off like this. Oh, it's been, oh, okay. I don't really know. It's none of my business and uh, it's not affecting me. I can't hear them very well. I'm on the far side of the house. Anyways, we will mix things up together. Just making sure it wasn't me causing a problem. Cause uh, well, we try to be curious. We like our apartment mates. We're gonna shake that up and pour it over ice. I'm gonna grab one of my glasses from over here. Let's go here. Um, and I'll put a bit of an ice cube in it. I'm gonna use one of my spherical ice cubes because it's just, it's ready and it's available. So I'll do that. Use a spherical ice cube. Give that a shake. It smells like cinnamon. I'm really looking forward to this. Very good. All right. Now pouring into our glass. Fuck you. In the most affectionate ways possible. It smells like cinnamon blueberry. And honestly, so going back to my oatmeal comment before, I used to eat a lot of oatmeal before I went to school in the past. And the blueberry, I would combine with the cinnamon, cinnamon brown sugar. And it would be, it'd be a really, really good way to start the day. Strain that. I got. I don't got a lot of particulates and stuff in there. Let me use my my very good strainer, my very nice strainer. Pour that over top. None of these cocktails call for any garnish so far. It's got a kind of like a yellowish off-white color. There's no particular significance there. There wasn't a lot of color coming in from the other cocktail components. This one's called "Fuck You." Not specifically um, affectionate, but it's good. Oh my god. That's really, that's really, really boozy. Wow. Whew. It's really boozy. Um, it tastes like cinnamon. Cinnamon, cinnamon from the Goldschläger. And there's a little bit of the, there's another piece of that those blueberry, that blueberry vodka that isn't blueberry. It's the vodka part of it, naturally. Just the, the burn, like, alcohol component of it. I'm getting a lot of that. Mm. I'm getting notes of the bourbon in there. Like, I can, I can taste, like, the more, like, like, oak barrel notes to it. But... I'm kind of getting it confused with the cinnamon, because oftentimes, like people will say that if it's if it's, um if something's aged in oak, 
It can have like a sort of vanilla spice flavor to it. Some would call it cinnamony. It's I'm getting I'm getting the if there's any vanilla notes or like there's more like Christmassy spice notes coming from like the oak the oakiness of one of the whiskeys that I use in there. It's combining with the Goldschläger and kind of muting it out. I can't I can't really piece it all apart. It just kind of tastes like this really weird watered down cinnamon and alcohol, and it's like. It's got, a, it's got a dryness to it that's just not very pleasant. It's interesting to think that the fuck you cocktail compared to the fuck you buddy, fuck you BFF cocktail, so starkly different. Wonderful. It's this like the, the pineapple juice in Malibu are really pulling this one through. And this one is just kind of overpowered by the Goldschläger. It's interesting too, because I used specifically Goldschläger, which is exactly what the recipe called for. And if it was supposed to be like more let's say better balanced that way. It might be coming out of left field because I didn't use Jack Daniels and I didn't use the wild turkey bourbon specifically, but I really don't think like those substitutions make that big a difference. I don't know. I'm sure they taste vastly different, but in terms of, of a mixed drink like this, I don't really know if it should make the difference. I also can't taste the tequila like at all. Like usually tequila is very, very prominent and I'm not getting any of it or the rum. It's just, ugh. Mm. I did get a piece of the blueberry there for a hot second, but I don't like that. I don't really like that at all. Mm. Not a fan of that at all. Anyways, I'll put that on the side. If you don't like what you're drinking, you don't need to keep drinking it. And I'm very happy with the fact that I know I'm not going to be drinking that because I don't really like it. All right, fuck you. Not a lot of payoff. Not the payoff that I was hoping for. Um, I think what I'll do is I'm gonna do one more cocktail this evening. Uh, move on to something that has a little more, a little more, uh, I guess, promise to it. I really wanted to try that one because it used the blueberry vodka, and I really wanted to try and see if it could, if it would go well in this combination combination here. But it really, it really didn't. I'm a little disappointed about that. So uh, a big old fuck you to the fuck you cocktail. I'm not into it. I don't like it. We'll move on to something different. What else do I have prepared this evening? I will take a look around. Let's see, let's see, let's see. There are a couple of different ones. And let me see which one looks like it has the most promise for a kind of a clincher of the X-rated cocktail evening. I like Ellen Rum Sour Mix Orange Juice. Now we've done something like that already. I'm gonna read out the ones that I have as I'm going through it. If anything kind of strikes chat's fancy, feel free to shout it out. I have, I see Wild Squirrel Sex, Thunderfuck, Slow Comfortable Screw Against the Wall with Satin Pillows. I don't have Galliano, I can't do that one, unfortunately. Slow Comfortable Screw uses Slow Gin. I haven't used Slow Gin in quite a while. Slippery Dick also uses the Butterscotch Schnapps, which I'd sub out for the Sheepdog Peanut Butter Whiskey. Sexy Green Frogs, going back to the Green Frogs thing again. It's just vodka, triple second melon liqueur. That's exactly what the frog cum was, except we're using triple second instead of club soda, I think it was. Sex with the bartender and uses strawberry liqueur. I don't have, I have like a chum chum, I think strawberry shoju, but I don't think that's what it's looking for here. And also uses cranberry juice, which would be all the way downstairs. Sex in a bubblegum fat, you know. Sex in, a bu Sex in a bubblegum factory, it looks like it's gonna be good. That uses creme de banana, blue curacao, apricot brandy, rum, and lemon lime soda. And I've had bubblegummy type cocktails before, so that seems pretty good. That's that's on my top list so far. Screaming multiple climax. Oh my. Uses Frangelico. And I don't have hazelnut liqueur, but I can use the pralines. Redheaded whore, which also uses slow gin, peach schnapps, and brandy. The purple penis, which uses shambord. I got shambord. Cranberry juice. Mindfuck. Leg spreader. Knickerbocker. How many smurfs does it take to screw in a light bulb? I don't know. It, it uses Zima. I don't know what Zima is. Gorilla tits. Fuck you. Oh, I did fuck you. I did frog cum. Cyber sex orgasm. That's a hot one. Cum fuck me punch. Climax buttery nipple. Butt munch. Breast caresser. Bosom caresser. We did that one. Blow job. Did that too. Between the sheets. Better than sex. Banana ass master. Bald pussy. Ass master. 5,000 plus. Angel's tit. Absolute sex. 69. 1,900. Fuck me up. Thunderfuck or bubblegum factory, sis floral mercy. What's in the, what's in the thunderfuck? Stab myself with my rose that you know what? Eesh. This rose is not serving me anymore. I'm gonna put it up there on my head. There we go. Let's see what's in Thunderfuck. 
I'm kind of down for the bubblegum one. I like that. But what's in Thunderfuck? I'm swiping like crazy. I'm swiping right on... I just scrolled past purple penis. My god. The Thunderfuck uses vodka, amaretto, mellow liqueur, rum, sour mix, and orange juice. However, I think the bubblegum factory is going to be a more interesting one. So that's what we're going to do. The final cocktail this evening is going to be sex in the bubblegum factory. I know it's in this 10,000 cocktails book here. Sex in the bubblegum factory. Again, this is coming from a cocktail book called 10,000 Drinks by Paul Knorr or Knorr. And it has a whole section on X-rated drinks. And just to give an idea of what other kind of stuff is in here, there's also sections on coolers, tall drinks, short drinks, iced teas, blended and frozen drinks, non-alcoholic drinks, an index section, naturally, layered shots. They have a section on shots and shooters, cocktails. Most of it is cocktails and shots and shooters, as well as specific sections on martinis, 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 and um, evidently more martinis. Highly recommend it. This was a gift from a friend of mine, and I am very, very thankful for them in my life. So we will continue with the next co cocktail being sex in a bubblegum factory. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna erase the expletives off the board. Fuck you, no, fuck you, ah! Fuck you, 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 da 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 Sex in a bubblegum factory. Could it go wrong? Of course it could. Sex. In a bubblegum factory. That's a lot to write out. Bubble gum factory. Again, like, the reason that some of these drinks have their names the way that they are is a little bit beyond me like i don't exactly know why they're calling this so like all of these sex drinks the ones that have sex in the name they don't really have anything common to them aside from just the fact that they use vodka in some regard no actually not even all of them oh no, no this one uses vodka okay the one that we're making now doesn't even use vodka so i don't exactly know what it is about the sex in a or sex on a or sex with a collection of family cocktails i don't exactly know what it is that makes them warrant the name sex in it that or it's just a funny name and people like that and people think it's funny because sex is funny inappropriate things are funny penis vagina <laughs> anyways we're gonna make sex in a bubblegum factory it uses a couple of different things you build it over ice and you stir so i don't even need my shaker so actually i did pretty well on my uh my tools this time around. I'm gonna grab another glass. I think this one would go well in my Versace glass. I have one here. I'm gonna grab a big old cube. We're just gonna build it over top. Give it a stir. And that's how we're gonna do it. So, do I need anything from my fridge? Ah, uh, la 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 la. Nope, I don't. Aside from my big old ice cube, which I'm gonna put on the inside. Do, 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 do. Pop that inside. There we go. That will eventually melt. And then it will be easier to stir, I'm sure. I'll take this off of here. I also don't need that anymore. Boop. I love it when I throw things into the honor, the, the bucket of honor, or whatever you call it. In any case, sex in a bubblegum factory. How do you have sex in a bubblegum factory? Carefully, or else you may get stuck. The first thing that we need is one part creme de banana. I don't have specifically creme de banana. However, I do have banana schnapps. And I've found so far that banana schnapps are a good stand-in uh, for this kind of stuff. Um, and I believe I've made this before. I've made bubble gummy drinks before, and it gelled well with these 99 bananas, banana schnapps. Actually, it doesn't even say banana schnapps. It just says banana liqueur. 99 proof banana liqueur, almost a bottle and bond. We need a single ounce of that. And I'm going to use this cocktail jigger. Single ounce. Remember, we're building this over ice and then giving it a stir afterwards. Right? That is what it says. Build over ice and stir. Yeah. Build over ice and stir. Here we go. I love the smell of this stuff. I love the smell and taste of bananas, and it's wonderful. This is more a, this smells more like a confectionery banana. Meanwhile, the cachaca that I showcased last week smells more like a ripe banana. And I love all things banana. And bananas are slang for a penis. So of course I love it. The next thing that we're gonna need is a part of blue curacao. I got blue curacao back here somewhere. 
question is, where is it? Oh, there you are, right behind the triple sec. Naturally, it's blue. And it's supposed to taste like orange. But it's also blue. So what color will this cocktail be? Um, let's see, we're adding this here, and I don't think the other ingredients have any prominent color to them, so... Mm. One ounce, or about 30 milliliters of your blue curacao. We're also using apricot brandy, rum, and lemon-lime soda, so I think this is just gonna turn blue. So apparently when you have sex in a bubblegum factory, it doesn't really look like you had sex at all. Or maybe, maybe the blue is supposed to be, like, reminiscent of, like, autoerotic asphyxiation, your mouth, your head turning blue and stuff because you're running out of air. It apparently makes your orgasms even more pleasurable, or so I've been told. Next ingredient we need is apricot brandy. So I'm gonna go down and get my apricot brandy. I got some of that back here. It's just a, it's a Jaquins, Jaquins apricot brandy. Um, Simple stuff, just a little liqueur. It tastes like apricots. I've had apricot jam before. I've been making my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with it recently. And um, yeah, tastes like that. It's got a nice orange color to it. That announced that as well. This is all going in an equal parts. So whatever, whatever denomination of measurement that you want to use, start with that, stick with it, keep with it. And it's gonna take you far. What else do we need? We also need part of rum. Again, doesn't specifically say what kind of rum. So I'm just going to use Bacardi. I'm not going to go too wild on this. I've never made this cocktail before. And so I, I had a, I had a buddy of mine the other day, we went to a Starbucks and we were getting some, we were getting a drink. And so I was like, oh man, I don't know if I want like oat milk in this or like a double shot of espresso. And he was like, have you ever had it before? I was like, no, I haven't. I was like, then why not get the way that they make it like originally by default. So that way you know how to mix it up later on because you already know what the be what the default tastes like. And I was like, that is a really, really good point. And I was like, I can expand that into my cocktail streams too, and my mixological endeavors. So I was like, man, I'm gonna take that pocket of information and put it in my pocket. But because this is an X-rated stream, I'm gonna stick it straight up my ass crack. And I'll save it for later. I guess. Anyway, ounce of rum. Doesn't say what kind of rum. I'm gonna use Bacardi. It's simple, easy, awesome. Like Comcast. I also need to fill with lemon lime soda. Um, and there's not a lot of space left in my glass here. Um, and it's been, didn't it say, it said specifically to go in a highball glass, and this probably stores about the same amount of liquid as a highball glass. Um, but I do have a bit of leftover Sprite. So, we'll pour that up to the very, very top. There we go, and we'll give it a stir. That is as full as it's going to be. And it's got a lovely, lovely, lovely blue color. If my chatbot we're not going crazy right now um i would most certainly take the cocktail angle over and give it a little bit of a look but things are fucking falling apart so i'm gonna take a i'm gonna take a picture of this and it will appear in our drink roundup that i will do uh in like a couple days or so i need to get the piece of cinnamon that's floating in there out of there take one of my other spoons Oh my god, get the cinnamon out. Ah, there's a little piece of cinnamon floating in there. Get out of there. Get the fuck out of there. Give it a stir. Build over ice and stir. If this tastes like bubblegum, I'll be pleasantly surprised. Because to be perfectly honest, it doesn't look like bubblegum. Although I suppose cotton candy comes in blue, and it also comes in purple. And cotton candy has a sort of like a bubblegummy taste to it. More or less just like candy sugar and stuff naturally um but if this tastes like bubble gum i will be happy doesn't say exactly how long to stir so i'm done it's blue looking oh, mm, i like that so far i like that so far indeed sex in a bubble gum factory what's it look like it looks blue damn it beautiful blue hue to it what does it smell like? Banana. It smells like banana. Reminds me again of my penis. Sex, says Sardonic Jeff. Hello. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. We'll talk about all the good things and the bad things and how they can all go down in a bubblegum factory. Ooh, I like that. There is, I have absolutely had bubble gum that tastes like this. And I don't, I don't exactly remember what brand it is. 
But I've definitely had bubblegum that tastes like this before. It is... It is... Bubblegum with a sort of mint, almost minty component to it. And almost kind of strawberry-like, too. What else was going in there? It was the blue curacao that's in there, so it should be a little more... orangey. This is good. Don't get any in your hair. Any in my bubblegum? Oh my god, no. I did get bubblegum in my hair once upon a time. I did. We had to cut it off. To each... It's, it just It happens. Wait, okay, wait, I know what it is. I know what it is. I have had a bubblegum soda that tastes exactly like this. And I wanna say, I live in Philadelphia. There is a store around here. There, there is a soda store around here called Rocket Fizz and I think they sell a bubblegum soda and it tastes almost exactly like this. That's what I'm getting here. I was like, I know I've had this flavor before. It is really, really nostalgic. So if you imagine for a moment, We've got some lemon-lime soda in there. We've got some Sprite in there. So it's a bit effervescent. There's a bit of a bubbliness to it there. And it also tastes like bubblegum. Bubblegum in the sense that I don't know how else to describe bubblegum aside from just calling it bubblegum. It's cotton candy-ish. It's bubblegum-ish. Specifically like like um, uh, hubba bubba hubba bubba bubble gum or like like those bubble tape things that you you can you know there's the little cylindrical things and you pull the bubble gum out this way and you can eat it or you open it up and take a fucking bite out of it because you're a monster um but it tastes like that with carbonation and a touch of lemon lime to it that actually goes really really well with that that's good i like that a lot it also it also kind of tastes like cream soda you know you know that that's that's a piece of it too it tastes like a bubblegum cream soda. The cream soda, I think, to me, tastes a little... It's got a sort of a citrusy component to it. I guess more on the vanilla and caramelly side. That's it. There's almost... It's almost... Almost orange cream soda. It's almost orange cream soda. But it's more bubblegummy. It's good. Now I crave Fruit Stripes gum. Dude, there was a... Mm, what's it called? Juicy fruit. Juicy fruit gum. One of my favorite gums growing up was juicy fruit. Had a yellow, had a yellow container, yellow, yellow decal on it, and it just tasted like fruit. I don't know what kind of fruit it tasted like, but damn fuck, it tasted like fruit. Fuck. I'm only using that word because extra cocktail streams. Otherwise, I'm a very nice guy. I promise. I don't use that many expletives. But, mm, that's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of. I just said it, and I completely forgot what it was. Completely lost my train of thought. But it tastes like that. Orange creamsicle. It's very similar to an orange creamsicle, except it's blue. Juicy fruit. Feels like juicy fruit. I love that stuff. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. That's called Sex in a Bubblegum Factory. It's an inappropriately named cocktail, which is why it appeared on tonight's stream. I actually kind of like this. This is this is the last cocktail that I plan on doing this evening. I'm getting a little, whew, I'm getting a little fuzzy. And I'll admit, there is a bit of a hit to my pride that the chat bot is not working. And so I definitely have to take the time to go in and fix that because I don't know why the hell it's not working. So I got to go in and investigate that. But this was really, really fun. This was good. This was fun so far. We covered a good number of cocktails this evening. It seems that the number of cocktails that we cover keeps growing and growing and growing. And the whole almost three hours of stream just go by really, really quickly. Um, that's wild. We covered, we did the blowjob shot. And that was some combination. I think it had cream liqueur, butterscotch-ish liqueur, and whipped cream on top. We did um, one called the ass which we added peach schnapps to, and we call it Ass Fuzz. We did one called Fuck Your Buddy, but we changed it to Fuck Your BFF, because that's a thing. Um, we did the Sex in a Bubblegum Factory. We did a frog cum, you know, like semen from a frog. Delicious, of course. We did a flip cocktail, which was called the Bosom Caresser. Actually, really, really tasty. That's this one over here. I'm actually curious to see how that's evolved over time as it's kind of warmed up the room temperature. Yeah, it's good more dry now there's an egg yolk in there so it's a little more dry than what it was previously that is an excellent I, I love flips i've had a flip similar to that before and i have to say i like flips i like flips it's good stuff what else did we cover um sexy bff the bubble gum flip frog cum cume what was this guy again this guy sucked oh this was called fuck you that was a cocktail called fuck you it had blueberry vodka in it and a bunch of other stuff and it just tastes like some watery cinnamony mess I wouldn't recommend it. Instead of fucking you, fuck your best friend. It's much better that way. 
due to all these emotes in here. Just flip the fucking table. It's fucking crazy. Anyway, that was all the cocktails that I have this evening. This was the first installment. Because I want to do something like this again. This was actually quite fun. This was a little this was a little risque, and I like any excuse to wear. I actually bought this robe from Walmart yesterday. Lana picked it up for me. It was nice. Very, very comfy stream. This was fun and exciting. Extra big cocktails. Fun stuff. I have an entire book that's got full, full, full of them. So if this is something that you'd like to see again, feedback is always greatly appreciated. And I am more than happy to hear it. Feel free to DM it. They have a Discord server as well that I'd love to share with a link with. However, my chat bot is currently broken right now. And also OBS is currently seizing in the background. I think in the spirit of the stream, OBS is practicing some masturbatory techniques called autoerotic asphyxiation. OBS is currently choking on it, um, but is having a wonderful time over there. As such, I have absolutely no control over my camera angles and scenes and stuff so this stream is going to end awkwardly i have to go into task manager and cut the stream completely or try to exit things out which might not go well for the download that i currently have going right now because i'm down I'm, I'm recording the stream as well it's crazy you're our generation's hugh hefner smoking that was the that was the smoking thing there oh my god i actually just learned who hugh hefner was yesterday because somebody was like what you're trying to dress up like hugh hefner and i was like i don't know who that is um playboy he's the playboy guy in any case, I can't switch to my end screen right now. My OBS will not let me. I'm trying the button. It's it's not working. It will not work for me. So as such, this is where I'm going to end streams today. I'm very glad that despite the technical difficulties that we were able to move on, we reached our community goal where we will be reading Smut on stream. Check out in the Discord server for when I plan on scheduling that. It's a, it's a hectic next couple of weeks or so, but this was very, very fun. I enjoyed these X-rated cocktails, and hopefully you did too. And if you stuck towards the end and you're under the age of 18, I didn't hear it. In any case, to everybody out there, if the moon is shining where you are, may you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your evening. If the sun is shining and you're starting off your day with a little quick screw in bed before heading off to work, good on you, dude. Good on you, dudette. Have fun with that. That's great. In any case, twilight, dawn, otherwise. May you have a wonderful one, y'all. Party on until next time. Bye. Is what I would usually say. I need to figure out how to end stream because things are going crazy. Karen's going to pull out abruptly. It's all about pulling out abruptly. I want to see. I don't think I can. Uh, I don't know. If this is gonna work. Uh, I can't click the. I can't click the end button on stream. Um, this may be a very awkward editing session. Anyways, I'm gonna click. Not responding. That's what I'm gonna do on my computer. I'm gonna try to end it via task manager because it's not working. I am struggling. I literally can't end stream right now. This is incredible. This is some next level of uh, technical difficulty here. I'm gonna click the X button. This might be it. Maybe it might end abruptly. I don't really know. So I tried it. Did it work? Goodbye, everyone. Oh, OBS is not responding. Thank you, everybody, so much. Oh, this is interesting. Oh my God. Wait, can y'all hear me? I have literally no idea what just happened with OBS, but apparently the stream is back, oddly enough. So this is gonna be my ending screen, I think. I can't go back to my main camera. My main camera is not working. I have no idea what the hell just happened. In any case, thank you all for joining me. This was my way of clinching things off. X-rated cocktails. Now it's officially ending. All right. Bye. Oh, it's not working. Wait, now it is. Hey, right, bye. Bye-bye.